What up, everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to some more Dredge. Honestly, I'll be real with you. I did not think this game was gonna like uh, be very, very. Um, how do I? How do I? How do I put it? I didn't think a lot of people would like it. Um, I honestly didn't. I I'll be real with you. I didn't. But the turnout and how much people loved it, pretty great, right? Thank you uh, for liking it, because I really like it. And when you really like it, that helps me continue to play a game like such. Um, no, I think a lot of people clicked on the video and didn't really expect that they were going to like it, and then they ended up liking it. How many times can you say like today? I guess we'll uh, tally that up. Take a drink for that. Uh, cheers. Uh, but yeah, <clears throat> here we are, back with some more Dredge. Now, before we jump into today's episode of Dredge, I want to just say a quick shout out. To the people that become, or not became, well, maybe, depending, uh, that re-upped their memberships yesterday. Uh, Downright Taco, thank you for the five months. Marcia, thank you for the six months. Everrose, thank you for the two months. Elizabeth Banks, thank you for the five months. Stormy, thank you for the four months. That Candy Lady, thank you for the two months. Uh, Michelle P, thank you for the five months. Queen Bees, thank you for the four months. David Frazier, thank you for the six months. Half a year. Faith's Gaming, thank you for the five months. Jill Yo, thank you for the five months. Kevin, thank you for the four months. Sassy Mom. Thank you for the eight months. Shout out to you. Jessica Cedillo, thank you for the 11 months, one month away from one year. Thank you for the continued support. Betty Davis, thank you for the three months. Mark Thompson, thank you for the four months. Tyler Parsons, coming in with a whopping 16 months. Thank you for the support, Tyler Parsons. Tiffany, 7481, thank you for the two months. Moxie, thank you for the four months. Short Fix, thank you for the five months. Masumi, thank you for the seven months. Chelsea Rose, thank you for the seven months. Retro Phage, thank you for the nine months. Kitten Alchemist, thank you for the nine months. Glitter Glam, thank you for the nine months. And Amanda Rain, thank you for the nine months. I had nine, a bunch of nine months there at the end. What the heck? I had uh, internet babies with a bunch of people just now. <sighs> well, welcome. Hope everyone is as well. And we're back with some more freaking dredge. Oh, well, that's a... Look. That's a dredge. And we're back. <laughs> Good to see everyone. Hope everyone's doing well. Hope everyone's having a good Monday. It's Monday, right? Start of the work week, I guess. And I'm able to bring you some more Dredge. So that's awesome. Somebody did comment in the last uh, video of Dredge. They said it, this game works very well on Steam Deck. So that's pretty good information if I have to do say so myself. Yeah, if I have to do say so myself. Susie comes in with the re-up saying, I'm nine months too. Now we're in business, Susie. My Lord, that's the incredible tier. You're nine months too. Oh, I love it. And Molly Joe with the nine, or sorry, with the four months as well. And with the now, both of them coming in with the now, now we're in business tears. It's always a good Monday with you, silly Fords. That's fantastic. Thank you, you two. Both shout out to the moderators. That's so awesome. Thank you for the continued support and having me and helping me be able to do this every day. Hello, everybody in chat. Hello, King Catch Me D freaking K. Hello, Christina Aris. How you doing? Russell Hardwood. How you doing, Russell? Good to see you, Molly. Good to see you, Susan. Good to see you, Chibi. How you doing? <laughs> hey, Yellow. How you doing, Yellow? Hey, Ara. How you doing, Ara? Hey, Penguin. How you doing, Penguin? Floatery B, what's going on? Christian Lynn, how are you? You are doing well. Hope you're doing well. Game Station, Summer Sunshine. Good to see you, Deborah. How you doing, Deborah? Lady Kryptonite. Good to see you, Justin Taylor. Oh, God. Uh, how you doing? <laughs> little Miss Teddy. How you doing, Little Miss Teddy? What's going on? Good to see you. Good to see you. Who that dude? How you doing? What's going on? Good to see you as well. Yeah. Hope you're doing well. I hear nine months and I freaking think pregnancy. That that's I'm right there with you. Um, <laughs> uh, Little Miss Teddy says downloaded the game yesterday. Now addicted. I'm about five hours in and there's so much to do. Let's get our addiction fixed, shall we? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, crossing my fingers that you uh, get your surprise from the PO box today. Yeah, you know what? That's a great idea. Um, hang on a sec. Let me just send out a. Uh, that thank you for reminding me. Actually. Let me just send out a message. There we go. Sent out a message. Make sure it gets picked up today. Thank you for that. Thank you for the reminder as well. All right. So we're back with uh, with this. Now, when we ended the last stream, we were trying to do some uh, crab statue s kind of things. Uh, we're trying to figure out what that was all about. So let's go ahead and uh, go pick up our crab pots. Yeah. And go see this uh, crab statue thing as well. This game is awesome, by the way. I can't stress that enough. <laughs> I can't. Can't stress it enough. This game is pretty sick. If you, you know, if I have to do say so myself. Uh, let's put away that and uh, put my lights in my in my hot pocket there. Hot pocket? Pocket. Check the pot. Alright, well, that's, that's lovely. 
Are we? No, we're not broke. I was say, are we broken? No, we're not broken. Absolutely not. <laughs> there we go. All right. Very well. Okay. Well, I guess that's that. Oh, it is evening time, huh? It's only 5 p.m. Okay. You know what? Let's just fish this out just because, and then we'll go and rest, and then we'll check these pots in the morrow. Uh, then to blue ma mackerel. That's another blue mackerel. There we go. It's another blue mackerel. You almost died three times and every time is a nail biter? Yo. There's also a totem statue behind the starting island. Oh, is there now? Oh, so this island right here, there's behind it, there's another totem, yeah? Ooh, that's a good shout. I like that. That's a really good shout. I'm gonna have to go check that out too. Uh, let's just go ahead and sell this fish that we have. Boom. Uh, uh, sorry, just hit me there. Thank you. 375, and then what we'll do is hopefully by the morrow, we will have, uh, hit me with the rest. By the morrow, we'll have those crabs too. Yeah. You're okay, you've been roasting for loving, oh, you loving your new dog and giving him lots of attention. Oh yeah, you got your new dog, yeah? Um. Welcome to dog mommy uh, world. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but... Yo, there's nothing more exciting than having a dog, yeah? At least a puppy. Uh, you know what's funny, actually? Last night... Oh, shit, I sold my crab. That sucks. Um, you know what's funny? Last night... It actually kind of terrified me a bit. I'll be real with you. I, uh, had a dream... That I, uh... I had a dream that I had a cat. Yeah, I owned a cat. I don't know why I got a cat, but I had a cat, and it scared the living crap out of me. Not that I'm scared of cats, it's just the last time I owned a cat, it wasn't so friendly. And then my grandma had a cat, and that cat wasn't friendly either. So all the cats that have been in my lives, they've all been kind of dicks, dude. They've been kind of mean. Very mean. Like, you try to pet them, they'll, they'll get you. You know? I don't know if they're trying to play. But I don't like that kind of play, man. I don't like getting swatted at. That's not fun. <laughs> That's not fun, dude. Anyways. I, uh, maybe that's why I just have a hard time to trust. Oh, oh, this is the swordfish. Oh, there's a boat over there, too. I don't know if we've gotten to that boat. I don't know if they're called... The, the, well, I mean, it's not a swordfish. Is it? It's a swordfish, yeah? Marlin or whatever the heck they're called. I'm going to take it, though. Yeah, see? Just like that. Uh, just hop right on in, my good man. Uh, let's rotate... That right there. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. That's a lot of money, though. I don't remember if I've been to this one yet. Now, the boats that go out at nighttime that like to scare me and all that, I am going to pro possibly challenge them. Believe it or not. I might challenge them. I'll do this. There we go. Sell to the trader as well. Actually, you know, I have a lot of stuff in storage to sell to the trader. What the heck? That was bigger than I was expecting. There we go. Sailfish. Is that what they're called in real life or no? There we go. Or is that just the, probably just the, the game's name, huh? There we go. Alright. Dude, I hear monkeys. Why do I hear monkeys? Is that Monkey Island? What the heck is happening? Do I have my lights on? I do. Might need to pop a horn or two. Wait, wait a sec. What's over there? Oh, that's the, uh, that, okay, that's the guy. That's the guy. Very well. Okay. Swordfish, those exist, exist in real life? That's right, right? Is swordfish and marlin fish, are they the different? I guess they're different, huh? You managed to make over $3,000 in fish sales? What the frick? Oh my god. My lord. $3,000? You're out of your freaking mind. How much is this gonna give me? 122 very well let's not sell our crabs this time um so yeah let's go ahead and uh yeah i would like to uh sell this that's not how you sell you press f there you go good job okay the rest of the stuff we can add to storage for now the cloth is actually kind of clutch uh we'll put the wood in and you know believe it or not we'll just go ahead and put that in there too and then we'll rest and hopefully the pots will actually get more crabs because i think we needed three crabs for that uh, other totem. <clears throat> you were close to the totem? Just a bit further than you were touched the rock? Oh, okay, okay, very well. Very well. Very well. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, no! 
That was a great dodge. That was a great dodge. Swordfish and marlin are two different kinds of fish. Oh, okay, now that is all news to me. <laughs> I did not know that. <laughs> Alright, there we go. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Um, I'll come back for that crab maybe, but let's get over to the other uh, other totem, yeah? I'm going to pull out the horn. Actually, yeah, give me the horn. Gotta hit that. Definitely gotta hit that. All right, let's go over there. We're gonna we're gonna be driving a quite a bit of ways, yeah, quite a bit of ways. Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah, we're also doing the um, the yellow robe and blue robe, uh, folks as well. Yeah, that's right. By the way, Bubble City Girl, thank you for subscribing. Shout out to you, Bubble City Girl. She was trying to play games, and then the owner of the house came out, and we talked to her, and yeah, the lady that tried to scam us was full of crap. She even had you, had said, you're gonna drive all this way? Excuse me, what? <laughs> Why is it have all the trouble getting, uh, getting your new dog, yeah? Have I been chased by any sea monsters in this? Oh yeah, I've been smacked by them too. The robe guys are gonna die if you take too long. They, they look dead already. They look dead already. Bubble City Girl says, hey, that's me. That is you. Says, long time watcher. Can't believe I hadn't been subscribed yet. Oh my God. Well, I'm glad that you're subscribed now. Yeah. Glad that you're subscribed now. <clears throat> Okay. Continue. Hey. Let's kick this week in the stream off with a bang. Collision. Molly Joe. Well, that was very kind of you, Molly. Let's kick this uh, week off and stream off with a bang. That's right. Look at that big super chat coming in. My goodness gracious. That was uh. That was very, very, very sweet of you. Holy crap! What do you want me to do? You want me to dance a little bit? Huh? My goodness gracious. Well, thank you, Molly Joe. I appreciate that. That was very kind of you. Very kind indeed. I need one more crab. That was massive. Fifth this freaking super chat. What the heck? Why 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 you why y'all spoil me too much, no? Huh? You spoil me too much, yeah? You, you, you do that. You do that. Huh? Why you do that? Appreciate that, thank you. That was sweet of you. That was very kind of you. Very kind indeed. So we still need one more. I thought we needed three, but we needed four. Molly. Molly. Molly Joe. Can I say, like, that's, like, one of the names that just, like, flies off the tongue very, like, smoothly? Like, I'd be at home and, like... Like talking to Danielle, and it's like Molly Joe, you know, said this or did this or whatever it might be, and it's like starting to become like a, not a meme, but like a, a definite reference. Like, oh hey, like you, that name is starting to become like an adjective. I had to say, this is the only way. There we go. Slide me in there. Yep. Okay, that's depleted. Oh god. The night time. Ay ay ay, what the frick is that? Should I hit it with the horn? There we go. Oh. I want them to honk back at me, dude. Like all the time. I want them to constantly honk back at me. <laughs> Here we go. Fish market. You look great, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. 152. Now, actually, this is actually a good time to, to tell here. Uh, we are currently trying to get... I think we want to go storage next, right? So let's go to storage. Oh, my Lord. Let's see what we got here. Let's go there. Let's go there. Oh, and let's go there. We should have enough money now, yeah? 
We do have enough money. So let's go ahead and grab that. I want more storage. We got more storage. Having another, another engine space would be cool too. Uh, more rod spaces possibly as well. I think maybe engine first. Let's go here. Do that. Do that. Kind of clean this up a bit, yeah? And it looks like we're going to need more wood planks. We still need to go to the other trader, yeah? The other trader. Okay. Cool. I'll take it. So now our ship... Oh, look at that. A little bit more storage there. A little bit means a lot to us. Absolutely. Encyclopedia, don't even at me. There we go. Okay. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and rest, shall we? We'll go back all the way to see if the um, other... Uh, other... What is it? The other uh, fish? Yeah, let's manifest. Hit me with that. And hopefully we can get that last crab in. I'm going to do all this work and it's not even going to work. Like, I'm doing it wrong. That's what's going to happen here. Ooh. I mean, we got it, right? It, it, it's there. We have it. Now, the only thing is... Is, is it going to work or am I doing this all incorrectly? I don't know, you know? I, there's a part of me that feels like I should take that, but there I am leaving it behind. All right, let's go. <clears throat> <laughs> hey, AKJM, how you doing? What's going on? <laughs> The red lights are angered by your lights. It doesn't swirl around you when you turn them off. Wait a sec. So, okay, the red swirls. So you're saying the red swirls are circling around because of my lights, yeah? Yeah? The way you're placing your catch on your boat reminds me of the way you place the ship's modules of infinite space on the Nintendo DS. What the hell was that noise? Dolphins. Love it. Can I ride a dolphin? Hey, J-Rob, how you doing? Excited to see more dredge. Oh, that's wonderful, J-Rob. Good, good to hear. Good to hear. I'm, I'm excited to bring more back because this game's pretty sick. Absolutely. We should make a, lots of memes with the 14-year-old selfie I posted. I'm okay with people using me as a meme. <laughs> it's probably the first person I've ever heard. Ever. They say, make a meme out of me. Make a meme out of me. <clears throat> You didn't see previous. What, what's the premise of this game? Um, there's a mystery. There's a sinister, sinister take with this world, so to speak. And um, it's a fishing game, obviously. You crash on an island. And for some reason, everybody you talk to is very cautious and wary about the deep ocean seas. Um, because there are baddies so to speak. They don't say it directly. I think I passed the thing, did I? Did I pass it? I think, yeah, I did pass it. They don't say it directly, but there's some suspicion, right? And you have to, f I guess, I guess we have to, in some way, figure out what the, um, what this sinister take is. Hello? We're really learning a lot as we go, too, as well. Done? Did I do it? Why do I have a feeling that I didn't do it? An altar breaks through the waves. Are carved into it. The largest it's covered is rocks. Did I not do it correctly? You can return to these items later. Rock slab. Is that how you're supposed to do it? No? Hey, not given. Or is this supposed to be just something that you have here? Yeah? Rock slab. Rock lobster. Hey, Payne. How you doing, Payne? Hey, Ruth. How you doing? Is it three different crabs you have to have? Okay. Frick. That would have been the third different crab right there. Mm. Interesting. Very well. First five days after the weekend are always the hardest. Hey. So what if I do this? Turn the lights off. Ah, look at that. The red lights don't swirl. Ay, 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 ay. 
I can't see anything in front of me. You're pretty sure that one's only for common crabs? Hmm. Interesting. Holy crap. You really can't see. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Alright, let's let's turn in. We'll turn in. Let's turn in, yeah? Uh. Can you repair this, yeah? I do have an extra crab on me. I need you to repair this for me. Sweet. Sweet mm. sweet peas. Uh, yeah, 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 repair. Thank you. Appreciate that. Do I have the two engines? I have one 18.9, 26.3, 26.3, 270. You know what? Yeah, let's let's actually get our new engine in. Yeah, we'll sell that one. And then we'll buy this one. And then we'll have a new engine, yo. Look at that. Sick. Love it. That's one of the new that's one of the few rock monument altars I haven't been able to figure out. The crab one? Okay. Very well. Now if we have to do three different kinds of crab, we can actually do that. Yeah, we can actually do that. Wouldn't it be too hard to do actually? Because all we have to do is take this little thing that we have here right now. And kind of put it by the altar. That will give us a, a third uh, crab. At least. And we could try that method. And if that doesn't work, then we could try all common crab too. Dude, the music in this... The game, the game just looks great. The music is great. Everything is great. So good. I do want to get in some of that right there, yeah. I mean that. Bony wreckfish. Ew. <laughs> and then a regular wreckfish. And then I'm gonna wreck your fish. Oh! Nope. No, thank you. <laughs> oh. We'll just do this right here. Whoa, what the heck? And then there's a whale behind us. There is a whale. Oh! I think that's a whale. I saw, like, weird tail. That was a very weird tail. Okay. Place it here. And we'll be back. This is, like, job number one for me. Like, trying to figure out the totem. Like, I want to do it so bad. It's, like, it's driving me nuts. I want to be there. I want to, I want to complete that. Almost as bad as the people in the road. Picked up a little speed, though. Yeah. <clears throat> the big twin engine is fast. You're jetting around with it. Put it out a little deeper. I put mine in the exit between the bay and the open water back at Morrow. And I got three different kinds in that. I got the better net. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to, we need to get the net. We haven't actually used the net, I don't think. Hang on a sec. Let's look into this real quick. We haven't even, like... <clears throat> That's one thing that we've kind of neglected. The net. $225 for a net. Yield eight per day, capacity five by five. Install time for hours, lasts for one day. Coastal catches only. Very well, the net, the net. That's one thing we need to get to, the net. Yo, these are new lights. These are new lights. We're rolling with the 1800 lumens. I mean, 2100 lumens, how much? I mean, more. <laughs> 98 foot range. This is 82 foot range. I mean, that doesn't really sound too much of a, of a, uh, <laughs> of a, uh, of an improvement there, but it's technically an improvement. Okay. Dude, this place sounds like it's going to break. 
Okay. We're gonna rest one more day. We're gonna go back to that. We're gonna grab that new crab, because we know that the new crab does spawn there. Oh, that's a good idea, yeah. You put crab pots everywhere to make sure you're not missing any rare crabs or any rare anything. That's a good shout. I meant the crab net, crab pot. We call them nets here. Forgot. Oh, okay. So crab pots, <laughs> not nets. <laughs> crab pot, crab net, crab pot, crab net. I tell you, when we went to that uh, like crazy islands, like the the different colored, like the mushroom island place, that was that was kind of cool. But like, there was so much there, right? Absolutely, so much there. Now, this should be the third different kind. And is. Alright, here we go. Moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen. An altar breaks through the waves. Okay. We say, you know what? Take me back there. And I go like this. Did I do it? Maybe what I also need is that other crab. No, that other crab wouldn't fit in here Maybe it is all common crabs I'm gonna let it be I'm gonna let it be I'm gonna let it be no I'm gonna move on from the crab totem. I'm gonna move on from the crab totem from now. Until I get a def definitive answer, maybe. If I do all common crabs, it's gonna be a couple more days, Bo, though. I'll, 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 take a, I'll take a snooze on that one. Let me hit the snooze alarm, please. I hit the snooze every day. Sometimes I hit it twice a day. If I'm feeling frisky as well. If I'm feeling a little frisky, I say, you know what? Let me hit that snooze, and then let me hit that snooze one more time. There you go. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and sell these. We'll sell them, and then what we're going to do is we're going to look at our quest and see what we got going on for us. See what fish we're actually needed to start uh, focusing a little bit on. Uh, so let's go ahead and sell all. There we go. And then let's take a look at our tab here. Let's go to cabins. Let's go to pursuits. So we're searching for relics, obviously. Catch a fang tooth. <clears throat> I need to catch a fang tooth and bring it back to them. Okay, fang tooth. Catch a rare fish. Ore fish, gulper eel, a goliath tiger fish, and that word that everybody keeps commenting and telling me how to say it, but I still forget how to say it. Uh, all samples. I need to help the research collect all the samples. Glowing octopus. Firefly squid aurora jellyfish because that is actually what we uh, the 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 the, the scientist uh, on the island by herself Now on the map On the map it shows this X marks the spot here Which we kind of looked into and then we got killed I think or we got smashed We didn't get killed, but we got smashed hard. Yeah <clears throat> Now, we talked about going and entering this area right here, the research post, or right here, this X, entering it at a, at, at a different angle. And then we talked about how maybe even doing it, I think, at nighttime, too, or like a different time, right? I'm a little nervous for this one. I don't know if we're ready for that. I have no idea. But there's also the part of me that wants to make sure that we get, like, the ore fish. Do we actually know how to get the ore fish? Or any of these other fish? Question mark. Jellyfish. Well, we know how to get the jellyfish. That's a squid fish, no? Yeah. Stellar Basin. Oh my god. That is disgusting looking. That's a disgusting fish. Devil Spine, Twisted Strand. I see. Oh, question mark. The Maros. Okay. Oy. Oy. Okay, I see. I see a few things that we can kind of like go out and do, yeah? 
By the way, thank you for subscribing, Daniel Pitts. Appreciate that. The cat, the crab Tetris is a bit hard to crack. I'm starting to feel that way too. One thing that we haven't actually done a lot of is we haven't really uh, fished a lot in this area either. So, oh yeah, and the nets. We need to get the net in too. I want to get the net and start uh, testing that out too. So let's go ahead and fish a little bit more in this area. See if we get any new fish. That's a tiger mackerel. That's not going to really do us any good, no. There we go. Do that. There we go. And do a little bit of that. Perfect. Cool. There we go. And then I do want to get the uh, I do want to get the net in. I do, I do, I do. Go. Go. Uh, get, get my light on. I'm scared of the dark. Only just realized I wasn't subscribed. Watch endless hours of your videos. Finally get to catch a live stream lurking and smirking. Thanks for the entertainment. Well, shout out to you, Daniel. Yeah, shout out to you. Hope you're doing well. I'm so glad that you, you were able to hit that subscribe button. Yeah. Thanks for hitting that subscribe button, too. Sometimes, you know, people forget. And I get that. I get that 100%. Sometimes you be watching and then, like, before you know it, you start watching a channel. And then, like, all this time, you had no idea... That you weren't subscribed because YouTube was just recommending all the videos, you know? And you're like, oh crap, I wasn't subscribed. But thank you for that. Appreciate it. There we go. And then this shall be enough for us to get the, uh, oh god, the net. I mean, we have plenty, I think, enough now, but a little bit of extra money wouldn't it, wouldn't it, uh, wouldn't it be bad? A little bit of extra monies. Hey, Damien Darkwolf. Hey, Delion. How you doing? Hey, Maria. How you doing, Maria? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Let's go here. Like so. All right. Let's see here. Let's try to get the... Let's try to use this for the first time, shall we? The net. The net. Nothing but net. Okay. We'll uninstall this. We will place that in the storage. We will grab this. We will... Install. Install. Ability unlock trawl net passively catches fish over time when deployed sick, dude That's nice, so you kind of just go around and then I guess you get like what was what the, was the capacity? I think it said like eight or nine Okay, let's see here So there's the trawl net So what, you put it out Oh my lord, what is that awful sound? And then you kind of just go around Nice Oh, that's so cool. Cool. Now, I wonder if we can catch some crabs, yeah? Catch some crabs. Again, this is something that we haven't really... I haven't really done is, like, kind of go deeper into here. Well, maybe I have a little bit, but we haven't done a lot of night fishing, too. That's something I gotta kind of, like... I gotta get my fear out of there. And then go to... Like, go to another area, of course. That's another place that we can dynamite. Now, this monster is still here. So watch out for him. Why can't we just put dynamite in his mouth? You know, why can't we do that? That's good. You need two of the rock crab and the one you have in the bottom, not the small crabs, maybe one regular and one rare one. Oh, oh, you put the you put it in the Discord. Hang on a second, let me see. Thank you, Art Vandalay, by the way. Good to see you. See here. See here. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Good shout, good shout. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, I'm gonna try that out. I'm gonna try that method out. By the way, good to see you. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well, yeah? All right, so actually, that would mean possibly that our um, our crab pot could be there, yeah. Yeah, crab definitely could be there. We could actually do this right now, maybe. Let's see. Damn it, that's not the crab I need. These are not the droids I'm looking for. Hmm. 
very well. I'm really interested to see what this net does, though. I want to see what kind of fish I get from it. Oh, it says you have to discover the totem at the Devil's Spine, then talk to the trader and little at Little Morrow, and he will tell you more. Okay. Yeah, it's one place that we haven't gone. We haven't gone to the Devil's Spine yet. I kind of want to do a little bit of night fishing. I do. I do want to do a little bit of night fishing. What the hell is that? I think that's a sand thing, or what, what was this again? The stonefish. Got it. It was a stonefish. Hit me with another stonefish, please. Thank you. Uh, I can't get any more. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell this, and then I'm going to do a little night fishing and hope it works. If I see the boat out in the nighttime, look, I will, uh, I will, ch I will charge it. Yeah, I'll charge it. Absolutely charge it. Hello, my madam. Yes, I would like to sell you all this good stuff. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, onward. Wait, did I sell everything in the net too? Oh crap. I should have checked the net. So terrified. Huh. Species data added, added to the encyclopedia. Oh, well, that was good. Oh, we got the net. That's why. That's The net's doing us magical stuff. There goes my light. What is this? Oh, yeah. This is the touchy touchy stone. Place your hand on the stone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we have no more light. The light has been demolished from our existence. Therefore, we cannot see. I was hoping to get away with a little bit of night fishing, but now everything is a freaking rock. Everything is terrifying. Well, that kind of sucks. Ugh. Ugh, God. What a terrible, terrible time. Put me in, coach. Yeah, we kind of did. Yeah, obviously. Look at this, though. Scoring base black sea bass. Sorry, base bass. Scouring bass. Huh. $54 for those two. Hmm. Okay. Mm. Fix up. Okay. Rest up. And then let's go see. Hopefully, maybe this uh, crab pot will help us. When your light goes out, you can turn it back on. Really? I'll have to try. By the way, thanks for subscri subscribing, J-Rock. The monster left the island for me when I returned the crest to the brother. Oh, really? Oh, so I wonder if the monster is not here then. Oh, there's a good chance that he's not here then. Huh. Good shout. Apparently, the Devil's Spine is supposed to be the first totem. The first totem? Like the first one you're supposed to do? That worked out. Okay, here we go. Ah! 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 The three crabs shudder. Legs clicking into strange angles. The long dead. Some unseen power commands their corpses into action. The crabs scuttle over the altar, disappearing into cracks in the, in the stone. Suddenly, the rock splits in two, revealing a sunken chamber at its core. The mouth of the deep? Ew. A formidable cage with a vast, gaping maw. Sure to swallow up anything unlucky enough to stumble into it. 
It yields three per day. Really? Holy crap. That's a massive trap. Well, that's kind of cool. So you get a trap out of it. Well, you get a pot out of it. Whatever you want to call it. You get something out of it. We got to repair it first. Wow. That's really cool. Well, there you go. That's how you do that. That's how you do that. Indeed. Yeah. Love to see it. <laughs> All right. Well, we got that done. We got it. That looked awful, though. This this trap looks awful. It looks disgusting. But we completed it. Now I want to go to the totem behind the, the island, yeah? Behind the starting island. Let's see what that one's all about. These are good uh, things to have. Let me go ahead and saddle up, partner. Fish market? Yeah, 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 yeah. You and your mouth. Uh, yeah, we'll get rid of everything, please. Can I, uh, discard this? Thank you. And then can I, uh, repair this freaking mouth I have here? Uh, let's go here. Repair. Okay. We even repaired our net, too. Look at that thing. That thing is crazy. Okay. All right. What time is it? 2.21? Let's rest. And then we're gonna go and try to find the other totem now. I think it's nice to have these, um, it's nice to have these little, like, I don't know what you call them. Trinkets, awesome little equipments, things that you do for the totems, I guess, yeah? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to manifest. Hit me with the manifest, please. Love to see it. And then let's go over there, right? Yes, we go that way. Okay. Let's go see another totem, shall we? Is it behind the monkey island? Because <clears throat> we've never been this far. We haven't been this far south, at least in this direction over here. Is it by the other island to my left? Or am I too far out? Let me see. Oh, it's very coastal over here. This is pretty cool. It's like caribbean -ish. Yeah? <clears throat> huh. Sounds like a monkey. Is it closer? The totem. Out that way. Or is it behind the trader? <laughs> I haven't found that one myself, but it looks like it's in the cove thingy. Oh, okay. So you haven't found it yourself yet. All right. All right. I got you. What the heck? I don't think I can actually go for this because we don't have our D. We don't have our deep, uh, yeah, we don't have our deep, uh, sea fishing rod. My lord. What a terrible sound that was. Somebody sounds hungry. Let's go for this, though. Go a little bit of that. There we go. What is this? This is the gray eel. Very well. It's a tummy growling moment. Yeah, I agree. <clears throat> there we go. Cool. Have you found out what the eye is all about? Uh, we've said maybe paranoia. I don't know exactly what it's called in this game. Maybe paranoia? Maybe? <clears throat> We're going to put this son of a gun down, though, I tell you. I don't know where I'm going to put it. I don't know where I want to test it. But I'm going to put it down. I guess we could test it in, like, uh, unknown. Yeah? In the unknown. We could go over to Steel Point, because we actually haven't been over to Steel Point that much. Let's go over to Steel Point. Maybe even take a, take a trip to... 
You know what? I shouldn't take a trip to Devil's Spine. I should actually stay on course here, shouldn't I? Jeez Louise. Let's turn on a light or something. My goodness gracious, you're gonna crash, you forehead. Hey, 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 yo, no, no, no. Don't do that. What's the next thing we want to research? <laughs> this. That thing. That baddie. That's looking very good. I want that. Can I get that? Am I close to that? Very close. So let's spend a point here. Spend a point here. Thank you. We'll unlock that. We'll spend a point here. Spend a point there. Now the mangrove, is that the, um, is the mangrove the, uh, oh my god, look at that son of a gun. Look at that too. The twin prop engine? Yo. Now you're talking. Um, right. The hardy crab pot, the efficient crab pot, the large crab pot, the net, the coastal net, the mangrove net, the volcanic. Ooh, mangrove, mangrove. I gotta figure out which biome is the mangrove. Improved trawl net. Ten per day. Okay. Let's rest. Hey, cousin. How you doing, cousin? Game time. What's going on? The heck was that noise? Uh, builder. Hey, thanks again for helping me move out here. I managed to get myself set up now. I found this while I was unpacking. You should take it. What the heck was it? She hands you a book. The cover is dusty, but in other otherwise good condition. If you ever need to use the dock or store stuff here, be my be my guest, or you know all that good stuff. Okay, good. Well, I mean, hey, if anything, we got a new uh, new book, The Engineer's Companion. So we'll start reading that. That's good to know. Um, yeah. So I think honestly, we should be going in. We should be hovering around this direction, the Stellar Basin. Now, I don't know. There's the Maros. I don't know what actually classifies a mangrove area. Like, would that be considered the mangrove, the Stellar Basin? I guess, maybe, right? But we need to figure out more about that red, red X. I mean, I know that's where that crazy monster was at, but still, right? We gotta also repair our boat before we go there, too. You did say it's not a boat. <laughs> I remember last stream, everybody's like, you gotta go, you, you should go, you should go to the, you should go to the, you should go to the boat. Go see what it is, go say hello. I had to do that for all those people out there. Shout out to all those people that passively almost got me killed. Or at least soiled my pants, either one. Let's see here. Fish. Yep, we'll go ahead and sell. Uh, right, right, right. Okay, let's go ahead and repair. Not that. Perfect. Uh, we do have these new fishing rods, though, which I might actually take her up on. Uh, let's go. Let's see. Mangrove. Mangrove. Let's buy the mangrove. Let's uninstall this maybe and then hit me with the actually coastal and mangrove coastal and shallow you know what let's put the hydraulic rod we'll put the hydraulic rod back on and then let me go ahead and do the anti-tangle line yeah so we'll uninstall this too and we'll put that in storage then i'm gonna grab the anti-tangle rod and this should help us with the mangrove area yeah so let's go to storage. Uh, let's go to my storage. Let's go to cabin. No, let's go to here. And let's put the hydraulic rod on for the deep sea fishing, right? Take off the net for now. We'll run that. We still have our trap on us that I have yet used to use. And I think I'm going to use it by the cellar basin. I'm going to use the, the, the pot by cellar basin. 
I'm gonna come over here and sell a bunch of trader stuff too. Mangrove is swamp. Is there a swamp in the area? I wonder if that's what is it? The Devil's Spine, right? And the Twisted Strand. I wonder if this is the mangrove then, the Twisted Strand. Twisted Strand sounds kind of swampy, maybe. All right, let's sell you a bunch of this. That, 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 that. Pretty good money back. Yeah. All right, let's go on our way. Let's go learn about this new biome, so to speak. We gotta go learn more about it. Especially after that whole giant tentacle squid octopus thing smacked us last time. We gotta learn more about it. Hey, Margaret. How you doing, Margaret? What's going on? Hope you're doing well. Oh, my lord. It's already 7 p.m.? What the hell? What happened to time? I want this, though. A black tip reef shark. Okay. Nothing really new there. That is definitely new. <laughs> a cleft mouth shark. Oh my god. Um. Manifest. Thank you. Think I can make it? Yeah, I can make it. Oh, there's the freaking boat, dude. There he is. Hit him with the horn. Coward. A little bit of nighttime. Oh, this? Yeah. Brood squ squid. Do we need a brood squid? I can't remember if we did. I don't think so. For no reason we needed a brood squid, I don't think. There we go. Hey, Denise, how you doing, Denise? What's going on? Hey, Soul Empress, how you doing, Soul Empress? Good to see you. The mayor appears in front of you on the dock. His face swims before your eyes, and his words blur with the waves crashing around you. Are okay if see fogs, shapes, rest. Careful. Nightmares. You stumble past him into town. What the frick? What can I do for you? Uh, I want to ask you about the wider region. Certainly, is there somewhere in particular you wish to know more about? Oh, uh, a stellar basin. Quite a popular tourist destination. There's a resort on the uh, atoll built on top of a beautiful coral reef. I'm sure there's a wide variety of fish there. Maybe you fancy getting your hooks into some of those. Is there another area you would like to discuss? The Twisted Strand. Hmm. I don't think there's much to tell. It's just a tangled mess of trees. It's often blanketed in a thick fog, even during the day. You'd want some good lights and a good sense of direction if you're too if you're to go exploring. Okay. That's good. Devil Spine. Ah, yes. It's quite exciting, really. An active volcano amongst a city of ancient ruins. I must caution against sailing there, however. The ruins lie low in the water and would surely tear through your hole. Not to mention, the uh, aforementioned volcano could erupt at any moment. You can occasionally hear it rumbling here. Okay. Is there anything else you'd like to know? I think that's it for now. Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? Shipwrecks, unfortunately, there have been quite a few in recent years. The lighthouse helps, but even it struggles to cut through the fog some nights. We do our best to salvage and clear any shipwrecks that occur around this side of the island. That should make fishing a bit easier for you. Around the back, though, it's a little harder to get to. There are still some wrecks towards the deeper patches. You'll want to avoid that area. Now, what else can I do for you? Um, What happened to the last fisherman? Mm, the last fisherman, oh, he was very unreliable. He'd go out at night, come back with no fish, and proceed to sleep all day. He was also a terrible captain. I mean, really terrible. Constantly running around on the reef, even in broad daylight. The shipwreck almost ran out of wood for repairs. Or shipwright, sorry. No, he was no good. Uh, one evening, he left and never came back. So long, he shan't be missed by us. Now, what else? I think that's pretty much it. That's good information, though. Pretty good information. I'm surprised you're open. $542? Damn. I'll take it. 
I'll take it. Yeah. Hey, E-Man. How you doing, E-Man? What's going on? Hey, Chris Flores. How are you? Good to see you, Chris Flores. Hang on a sec. Let me just uh, adjust something. Okay. Well, 6 a.m. Let's do it. Let's go to the to the to the resort, yeah? Let's go to the resort. Let's learn more about the resort. Let's also put my face. There we go. Oh, should I have talked to the lighthouse lady? Should I have talked to the lighthouse lady, yeah? All right, we're gonna we're gonna approach this thing again. We're gonna approach this like deadly area, so to speak. This is the right way, yeah. This is the way. <laughs> this is the way. Yeah, after asking about the strange occurrences and asked the light uh, lighthouse, is it the lighthouse lady? Okay, coral, boat. Now, this is the problem. Oh, what do I need for them? Abyssal, got it. So we need abyssal around here, that's what we need, not mangrove. This is the problem. This is the problem. Don't honk the horn, you idiot. I meant to turn the light off. I see something in the middle. I do see something in the middle. You see it. It's red. It's definitely red. For sure, for sure red. Don't touch me. What do I need? A haddle? What the frick is a haddle? Don't touch me. Ew. What the frick is a haddle? Whatever the haddle is, you need a haddle. Alright, well then. That's lovely. Always gotta love that. Yeah, can I throw him some explosives? That's what I'm saying. Hey, Brooklyn All-Star. How you doing? What's going on? Good to see you. Welcome in. Interesting. So, let's take a look here. Ron Spaces. Possibly not. Um, let me look at the... Yeah, I sprung a leak. Thank you for noticing. There's a couple things we need to do. There is. There's a couple things we need to do here. Um. Abyssal. Abyssal. That's abyssal. We need that. That's what we need. We need that. Abyssal and haddle. That's what we need. Coastal shallow mangrove volcanic abyssal and haddle. Right. So that's how we're going to be able to get that. Very good. Okay. Right. Crazy. Find the ring in Stellar Basin. Have we not found the ring yet? In Stellar Basin. We have not found the ring here. So we must... F that must be the ring, dude. That has to be the ring. Yeah. That has to be the ring. 100%. So that's the ring. We already know. Come on now, right? Obviously. We need to catch a fang, a fang tooth. So I met a person in gold robes on an island between Gale Cliffs and Stellar Basin. They asked me to catch a fish depicted of an old paper scroll. 
So we need to find a fang tooth. You hear that dog? That's a ridiculous dog, is it not? Now, I think the jellyfish you can only catch with a net, I think, if I remember correctly. Snake mackerel. We have a blue mackerel, tiger mackerel. Now we need a snake mackerel. Uh, the Morrows and the Gale Cliffs. I wonder if that would be in that area, too. These rare fish, though, are something. She might have more information. Look them up in the encyclopedia, too. Okay, let's see here. Let's take a look at the encyclopedia. Can we go to, like, um... Let's see here. You hear that dog, right? That's a full mercy bark. Bella is, like, confused and concerned sitting right next to me. But that 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 high pitch bark, that's definitely a uh, that's a chihuahua. Bella has a very manly bark. Has a very masculine bark. She'll take down a freaking cougar. Glowing octopus. Stellar basin. Rod Traw Pot. Ooh, nighttime. Ah, very well. Very well. Stellar basin. We should hang out here in the night, yeah? Interesting. We're almost done with that, too, by the way. Well, at least we can, um... Use this. Pot, finally. Where is a good question. What if I put it over here by this coral-looking thing? I guess it really doesn't matter now, does it? Or right here. Yo, what the heck is going on there? Disturbed... Water. Shallow. Do I not have shallow? No, I have the other thing on me. Okay. Fang tooth, stellar basin, abyssal. Okay. All right. So we still need to get the... So it looks like we're going to need to really take a, take a shot at and go towards abyssal, yeah? Yeah. It's a dogfish? <laughs> hey, Sergeant Cat, thank you for the re-up. I appreciate it. Thank you for that. That's very kind of you. Thank you, Sergeant Cat. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Let's see. Let's go back into storage, maybe. And put our other one on. Yeah, our flexible one on. I'm gonna have to go, like, look at this and see what the heck's going on out there. It shouldn't be that... I mean, if it's a package, it's a package. But it shouldn't be that, uh, that much of an issue right now. I might have to go check out, take a look at this real quick. Hey, Seema. How you doing, Seema? What's going on? Good to see you. All right, let's see here. I just want to put this out. I just want to put it out. I just want to put it out. Hello? Okay, first I want to get this glowing octopus. Thank you. So that's easy. Easy money right there. Thank you. There we go. Ah. And then I'll put the pot down. There we go. Now I'm going to take a look at her uh, pursuits real quick. After I do this. Okay, let's put the pot down. Like right here. That's that weird one, right? Yeah, mouth of the deep. Eyes of the ocean. My god. All right. All right. Okay. Let's actually take a look at pursuits real quick. Glowing octopus is one of them. Firefly squid and aurora jellyfish. I wonder if I could give her the, the octopus right now. Probably. Yeah, probably. So we can give her the octopus right now. We'll do that. Uh, when I say right now, I mean like in the morning though, of course. We will sell other octopuses. Unreal. Unactual real. <laughs> oh my god. Give me an octopus, please, and thank you. That's all I want. Thank you. Appreciate it. 
Good thing it was right close to the dock. Postman's dressed up as a squirrel. <laughs> okay, let's rest. All right, we'll rest and we'll drop this off at uh, at the scientist, I guess you could say. Yeah, the scientist. And you know what? While we're doing this, um, we should probably have the trawl net out too. Hello? Ooh. I don't know if I know what this is. A barracuda. I do know what that is. All right, let's go to that. It should be over here, right? Yeah, the castle's right over there. Scientist in a castle. Some Frankenstein stuff. I do like these island coastal, uh, you know, the sandy islands. It looks cool. Jellyfish, I think we can definitely get, for sure. That looks like a hammerhead shark, dude. That is a hammerhead shark. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, brother. That should be a lot of money. No? That's the first time we caught a hammerhead. Alright, we'll drop off this glowing... Oh my god, they have actual guns here. Look at that, they have guns here. Researcher. Oh, hello again. What do you need? Um, About those specimens you're after. Take a look at the list of specimens I need. Please drop them off here. You might need to experiment with different fishing strategies. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right about that. Ba bam Firefly squid. Coastal. Catch in a net or catch with a, with a hook. And the jellyfish is strictly just net. Okay. Good. It's all I need to do. Can I actually go into my storage? And then we'll go into our... Yeah, we'll, we'll uninstall the hydraulic rod. Again. We'll bring the net back. And we gotta hope that we get the jellyfish and or the other thing too as well. And we'll kind of like net around here. I don't know if I should do it during the day or do it, do it during the night. I'm not sure. Let's go there. Crawl net. Uh, send it. And we'll go back into the other direction, yeah? All the octopus needs to be fished at night. Stellar Basin, shallow or coastal. Okay. Okay. That's a good shout. What the hell are you? Do I have you? You look like a red snapper. You are exactly that. That's good to know. So the octopus out of the three are the only one is the only one that needs to be uh, done at night, yeah? Waves lamp lap at a pile of flostam flostam collecting on the beach nestled in the center of a wooden chest i will look inside and i will see what the frick is that uh that is a map large scrap of paper large scrap of paper with some shapes drawn on it in one corner is a compass symbol yo uh that's kind of cool it's like some kind of treasure yeah this is the jelly. The, this is the uh, squid. Octopus? No, this is the uh, firefly squid. That's the firefly squid. Sick, dude. All right. So we can at least drop that off. <laughs> so now we're only one away. Never mind. We got both of them. Well, all right. So we've completed it. Well, that was good. <laughs> That was pretty good, no? Just like that. Researcher, scientist, lady. Woman of my dreams. Redhead. <laughs> um, I got what you need. Uh, uh, net. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Looks like you've caught all the surface specimens I need. But ah, yes, I do also need some from deeper down. But that's going to be a problem. Why is that a problem? I develop a device to retrieve samples from the abyssal zone. This was over in the other research outpost before the attack. I have an idea of how to keep the creature at bay long enough to collect these samples. But while I work on that, I need you to retrieve some prototype parts. Fantastic. Uh, carefully, I suggest you go during the day. I wouldn't want to be out on the reef at night. Is there anything else? No, I I, I think that's that's it. I think you're good. I, I think that's pretty damn good, no? 
by the way, we got the engineer uh, thing done, which means equipment types that use that use durability will lose 10% lower uh, durability. That's good to know. So does that add another pursuit for us? I need to help the researcher collect all the samples she needs. I need to collect prototype parts the researcher left behind when she fled the old research outpost. She was chased away from the research outpost by an aggressive creature, presumably living in the depths of the basin. I should be careful around here. So you want me to go around and try to find these prototypes, yeah? I guess anywhere. I guess anywhere, yeah? Okay. Cool. Huh. Do you ever get to gain more capacity on your boat? Yeah, we've actually done, I think, two or three capacities on our boats already now. I think. I think. Two or three. Can't remember exactly how much. I'm going to go to that island. I don't think we've been to that island. We have not been to that island. Let's go there. Let's see what that's all about. Oh, the prototypes are at our old facility. Okay, that's a good shout. All right, that makes sense. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Okay, I see, I see. What the frick? Anything special over here on this island? Anything over here? Or is it just an island? Just an island? Alright. Very well. A lot of time wasted. That's alright. <laughs> I guess. Alright. Got the special. Let's go to her old research place. Yeah. Pretty cool, dude. I have to say, this is pretty cool if you ask me. 100% cool. Alright, let's go there. Now, I did. I have gone to her place, though. I can't remember if her stuff were there already. Like, the prototypes. I can't remember if I have it in storage. Or if they weren't spawned there yet. I guess, for the story's sake. I'm not sure yet. I think I want some of that, though. A savage barracuda. I thought it was a three spot, not a four spot. Well, that hurts my heart a bit. No, doesn't it? You know what? Let's take the regular barracuda and put that back in there. <laughs> there you go. We'll trade you out, yeah? We'll trade you out. Now, I might not have enough room for the prototypes, but I just want to see if they're actually here. Let's see. Laboratory. The laboratory is in the ruins with equipment and research papers strewn about the place. Where do you want to look? Open the cupboards. Nothing in the cupboards. Uh, inspect the equipment on the table. You find the prototype parts that the researcher needs to assemble the sampling device. You sew the prototype parts on board. Where do you want to look now? Maybe on the floor? Okay, so we got everything then, yeah? Okay. Um, I would like to actually go to that other place over there now, so I can sell some fish, too. Sick, dude. When you went last time, you saw the prototype parts, but the story said you didn't know what to do with them? Ah, okay, okay. So I don't remember that. Ah, very well, very well. That's pretty cool, though. I'm glad that it's all it all stayed there and everything. Uh, where is this... Uh, dock over there. Is that how far away it is? Oh my goodness gracious. Dave the Diver is going to come out in a few months. Dave the Diver is in like uh, going to come to full release, yeah? In a few months. Let's go, let's go. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Dock it up. Sell all this fish. Fish market.
Okay, fish sold. Fish sold. Fish sold. Put that in storage. That in store. No, don't put that in storage, you idiot. Uh, bring that back. Bring that back, please. We gotta give that to the scientist. There we go. Cool. Alright. Rest. And then we'll go to the scientist and give her the prototype parts as well. Let's go, let's go. I didn't sell everything in my net, though. I like to keep close to the shores. Just because I'm scared of the deep ocean. I don't know what's out there, man. I don't know what's out there that wants to that wants to hurt me. There has to be something out there that wants to hurt me. And I'm not talking like sinister, like weird mutation. I'm talking like I don't know, like a humpback whale wanting to throw it back at me or something. <laughs> there we go. Oh, hello again. What do you need? Well, I have the prototype parts you asked for. Well, excellent. Let me assemble a device for you. This should allow you to catch uh, specimens from much greater uh, depths. It's a, sl a little slow, but you may be able to make some improvements to it. Sampling device. Frick yes. Hold that thought, sweetheart. <laughs> Uninstall. Put that in. I just probably lost all that fish in the net, but that's fine. Um... Oh, that's not fine. Oh, I see. I... I see, I see, I see what I've done did. We'll put that there, I guess. Now I have to uh, de develop a repulsion machine that pr uh, produces a bright light and emits a high-pitched noise. It should deter the creature from attacking or enrage it. I'm not sure. Well, that's it's either zero or 100. You tell me. Connected to the research outpost generator, you'll have to return and re-engage it a few hour, every few hours. But other than that, it's completely automated. Ah, okay, great. Now take a look at the list of the specimens. Remember, you'll want to install and activate the machine before attempting to collect these. You might also need to improve that equipment. I have you to catch some of these. Okay, the the hadal, hadal snailfish, anglerfish. Those things are creepy, dude. Giant amph amphipod, 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 a loose jaw. Okay, this can only do abyssal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, very well. Is there anything else uh, about those specimens you're after? Remember, you have. Okay, very well. Interesting. So let's go back into storage. Let's readjust this. Um. I don't know. I guess if I have a, if I have any, uh, maybe a hydraulic rod. Regardless, this is all going to be about research too. Because now we want this. Yeah, we want that, and we want to buy that. That's the bottomless line. So let's go buy that. That's what I want to go do. I want to buy that before we do anything else. Do I need some logs? Do I need some wood planks? I need some wood planks, yo. Hey, Darren. How you doing, Darren? Good to see you. Good idea. Humpback whales are like the hollowback girls of the sea. You don't want to don't want to cross one. There you go. <laughs> there we are. You times been round the track Cause I ain't no wild the bat girl Ain't no wild the bat girl You ain't never been no wild the bat girl Hell no Did I get lucky here Nope Continue yeah, 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 yeah. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. I'm just, I'm just driving. I'm just driving. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Um, let's go to shipyard. Hello. 
Uh, yes, I would like the bottomless line, please. How much is that? $405? Well, good thing I can uh, afford that. So let's buy it. We have now bought it. Let's put it in storage real quick. Um, is it worth buying uh, another light upgrade? You know what? Let's do it. Let's buy a light upgrade, even though it's not that much of an upgrade. We'll still do it, nonetheless. An upgrade for us, so that's what matters. Uh, we will uninstall that. Put that away. Okay. And then let's go ahead and uh, go to my storage, and we will install... My goodness gracious, look at our... This is getting out of hand, isn't it? Um, let's buy the bottomless. Install that. So now we can do... The Abyss and the Hadle, right? Haddle? Hadle, Haddle? Freaking Ladle? We could probably sell a, a net or two. No, we're not going to do that. We could sell that engine, that's for sure. Let's sell that engine, because that's a pointless engine to have. Ah. I would like to sell something to you, if you don't mind. Can you... Can I sell this to you? No? Okay. Maybe not. She don't she don't play like that, I guess. Okay, very well. It's almost 6 a.m. So now that we have this thing attached, we should be able to fish for those type of fish. But we gotta go to the researcher place first. Oh yeah, dude, our freaking uh, thing thing. Ew. Blue crabs. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. The mouth of the deep. Look at this thing. This thing is incredible. Wow. The mouth of the deep crab pot. It lasts so many days and it holds so many fish. That is so cool. Dude, that thing helps out. So I think early on, definitely get that totem done. That crab totem. Get that thing done. That is awesome. That's too cool. All right, let's go to the research place. So you got to use the research place. You got to go to the research place in order to hopefully detract this massive beast. Yeah. Hey, Alexander, how you doing? How you doing, Alexander? Why don't you put the materials in the storage in the level tree? Uh, you can. I can, yeah. I just, just, I don't know. I just have it. I forgot. <laughs> Here we go. Put it in. Here we go. All right, the re by the way, Amanda Rain. It says eight months there, but on my end, it showed nine months. Amanda? It showed nine months. Thank you for the re-up, though. I appreciate that. Thank you for eight months, nine months. I think it's nine months. I think it's lying to you, but uh, thank you for that. Thank you for the support. Appreciate that. All right, let's go ahead and install this bad boy. Now, it only lasts for X amount of time, right? So we got to go fast. A small object rolls out from under the generator covered in dried salt. Ah! Nice. Activate machine? Yes. The repulsion machine hums and whirls to life. A few seconds later, a bright light shoots from the top, and an alarm begins blaring. The researchers said this should keep the creature at bay for at time, for a time at least. Okay, go, 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 go. This is my time to shine. There it is. I'm going for it, dude. I'm going for it. Yeah, yeah. This is the ring. Told you. Okay, that's done. Now we got to get fish. The hell is that? It's a giant. That's what we needed. Move on. That's that other thing. <laughs> I don't need a lot. Snailfish. That's what I needed. The hell is this? Snailfish, don't need it. 
that's don't need it right now not right now i'm in a i'm in a little bit of a hurry i have that right i do i'm in a little bit of a hurry i think those are the only huddles maybe haddles that i needed maybe i can get the other stuff outside of this area regardless though we got uh, good stuff haddles okay i don't know if this thing's gonna turn off by itself if it does then it does right Shallow. Understood. Okay, you know what? It's getting dark. Let's just go back over here. That way. Huh. There you go. Okay. Well, uh, let's take a look at our uh, thing real quick. Uh, pursuits. Samples. Anglerfish, loose jaw, amph amph amphipod, and a snailfish. Giant amphipod and a snailfish. So we have two of the four. We just need the loose jaw and the anglerfish. Now, I don't know if that means this comes at nighttime. If they do come at nighttime, I have no idea. Uh, let's go to floating dock. Let's look into this. We can put like a little bit of this action right there, yeah. Do a little bit of that action. There you go. Do a little bit of that action. Do a little bit of this. Do a little bit of that. How you how you like that? Three cargo spaces to also hold rods. Let's do it. And then the... Uh, do we have an extra wood? We do. 75 for that. That will hold one space for a potential uh, engine. And then the hole. Oh, my Lord. Uh, right. A whole nother hole is going to take a little bit of time. That's good there. Let's go here. Uh, let's put this stuff off to the side, maybe. I think that's everything we can do right now, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, so where does that put us in our boat? Cabin-wise. Aha, uh aha. -huh. Uh -huh. I see, I see, I see. I see. Very well. Cool. I like it. And the anglerfish... I think those are fish that you would probably you you would expect to see at nighttime, no? Those are the octopuses. There I go. I'm out here in the middle of the oh my lord. Snailfish. Oh look at him down there. Look at him, that creepy son of a gun. been real dude it's been actually real what is this you know what f it a sexton yeah obviously i'll take it that jellyfish though okay all right all right, all right. It just ended? It just ended. And now he opened back up, as you can see. Okay. All right. Got it. I understand now. So that lasted actually quite a... That lasted almost like an entire day. I feel like. That was a while. That lasted a while. All right, let's go back to the... Um, to the researcher real quick. Might as well get this while I'm here. Broken spectacles? Yo. Sick. Oh, anglerfish. Is this anglerfish right here? It looks like anglerfish. Hell yeah, dude. And then what was the last one? I forgot what the last one was. It was the uh, uh, loose jaw. Loose jaw. Loose jaw. What the hell does a loose jaw look like? I have no idea. Is this a loose jaw? That's not. Nope. Well, all right, we have three of the three out of the four now. Yeah, three out of the four. We just need the loose jaw. Loose jaw.
It's a ring made for a giant? I know, right? <laughs> oh, hello again, yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Put you in there. Put you in there. Put you in there. Loose jaw. Can only be caught with a rod, too. Okay. Has to be somewhere around here. Right? Obviously. Does anyone know if the, those red jellies can be scooped up in a net? I don't know, but I, that would be kind of cool, though. I want, I want that red jelly. Is it strawberry flavored? Strawberry jelly. Is this a loose jaw? Nope. Let's actually get this, because we need this. There we go. Sick. Is that it? Nope, there's more. There we go. Do some more. Ah! Nice. Is that a loose straw? No, that's probably not. <laughs> Definitely not. The heck is that? That is nothing. Hey, Ludicrous Spy, thank you for the 13 months of support, my lord. 13 months. I appreciate that. That's very kind of you. Very kind of did. Big, big shout out to you. Thank you for the continued support. I really appreciate it. Very big ups to you. Big ups to you, indeed. Uh, let's hold on to that. Actually, I don't need to talk to you. I need to... Uh, I need to actually do a little bit of this. No, 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 not that one. The other one. Yeah, yeah. I need to do a little bit of this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So basically all we need now for the hole is just metal. Refined metal and then just like scrap metal. But one thing we definitely should do is let's undock and let's manifest. Let's go to the collector and say, yo, this ring is for a giant. Take care of it. You walk into a place in the jewel encrusted ring on the table by the collector. His eyes widen. We're certainly making excellent progress now. And I know what you're thinking. An item like this would fletch or fetch a fortune at any auction. But for us, its value transcends material wealth. Regardless, you are due a reward. He opens a crimson book, its spine crackling audibly. Selecting a page carefully, he begins to read aloud. The words sound muffled, as though he's speaking through a thick haze. What the heck is that? Banish. Fire off a blazing light that dispels and protects? <gasps> what? Nothing will touch me in the night? You hear a growling and crackling in your ears. Suddenly, your vision flares, and both of your ears pop. He closes the book. We must keep searching. I've been thinking more on where we might find another. I can imagine all manner of uh, detritus, detritus swallowed by this silty muck of twisted strands channels. It's worth investigating. I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? Um, what will you do once you have all the relics? He ponders for a moment. It's surprising, isn't it? The attachments we hold towards simple objects. But they, are, but they are anything but simple. Seemingly mute articles can speak in different ways. If I showed you a childhood toy, you'd be awash with forgotten memories. They hold the power to recall what was once lost. Anything else? What did you know? What do you know about the old mayor at the Little Morrow? The stuttering, that stuttering little old, stuttering old fool. Yes, well, I knew him. He joined us on the water sometimes, but was more hindrance than help. Never seem entirely with it. I can't imagine he has fared too well since I last saw him. Anything else? The words you read from that book, what did they do to me? The book holds power from the deep. I merely extended its power towards you. All right. Uh, tell me what banish means. The banishing words will provide you a temporary protection from most things. If spoken swiftly enough, you can be used defensively. It can be used defensively. Choose your moment carefully. The more they are spoken, the more they are understood. Ah... Are there other powers? No, that's interesting. Very well. Very, very well. 
That's it, my good man. Uh, I will rest here as well. Interesting. Hmm. Hey, hey. Have a good one, Daniel Pitts. Do take care. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Yes, and do in indeed enjoy the rest of your evening. I was told that the DLC, you would have workshop stuff if you did the DLC stuff. Or, yeah, you get DLC stuff if you have, like, the workshop and stuff, yeah? Hey, Wolf Over, how you doing, Wolf Over? Um, anyways, uh, back to what we were doing. That is, well, now we have a red X for the Twisted Strand, F me. Uh, let's go back to this place to find that last bit of fish for the researcher. Yeah, we want to do, um, we want to get that loose jaw action, yeah? That way. Spotlight, stoplight, loose jaws location. They're not in Stellar Basin, but instead found in the open ocean around it. Red eyes, abyssal, both night and day. So they're in the deeper part of the ocean. Is that right? Not around in Stellar Basin? Hey, Lady Fluffy Dragon, how you doing? Good to see you. Welcome in. So maybe I should be keeping... But these are, take, oh, these are oceanic, right? <gasps> oh. This is Abyssal. Ah. Fang Tooth. This is actually what I need, though, right? I'm pretty sure I need Fang Tooth. Uh, not for the researcher, but for something entirely different, right? Catch a Fang Tooth for the figure in gold. Exactly. I just gotta remember where the freaking figure in gold is. Cool. That's good news. Uh, this is metal, too, I believe, right? Well, this is something else, but I'll take it. Dun, dun, dun. Bag of Dublin. Dublins? Dubloons. 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 Scrap metal we definitely need. And we need at least two of these. Oh, God, I read chat and drove at the same time and forgot to put my seatbelt on. All right. That was a little bit of a flashback moment to, like, big ambitions or something. Scratch that. That was more than two, but might as well picked it up anyways, right? Oh, God. That is the anglerfish, I believe. That is the anglerfish. All right, let's get to the, um, let's get back to the dock and rest. It's the squid the, or the octopus, glowing octopus. Is there actually glowing octopus in real life? I don't even know, dude. Probably not. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Everybody wants to, like, take rockets to the moon and take rockets to Mars and take rockets to space? Yo. What the heck are we wanting to do? We want to explore other planets in, the, in this universe? How about we explore the depths of the ocean? How about we do that first? Before we start going to Mars... I'm sure there's stuff we don't even know about down there. Oh. Okay, this goes there, this goes there, this goes there, this goes there. Okay. Rest. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to work my way towards the gold robe guy first. And hopefully run into maybe something on the way out. So the gold robe guy, he is right here. Yeah, he's right there. So let's go out in that direction. Excuse me. Ah! No, don't excuse me. Excuse you. You f coward. You f actual fool. 
Wait a sec. You watch yourself, young man. Yeah, you watch yourself, young man. So look at this. We can go this far out and find angled fish or, that, or angler fish or whatever the heck they're called. So that's good news. Ah, there's the red eyes. There you are, you menace to society. Yes, that's what we're looking for. The loose jaw. Hooray. Give me multiple of these bad boys. Fill me up. I want it all. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. They might be high price. You never know. All right. So the gold robe man should be right over here somewhere, I think. This island, is it? I don't know. Whew. Is this a uh, gold robe man? Yo, this is not, but look at this. This is totem. A slab of rock cuts above the ways. Waves. There are four large, powerful fish, shapes carved into its face, and four great fissures running through the rock's base. What the heck is that? You might get a close-up on my forehead. I gotta see what the heck that is, dude. Um. That looks like a hammerhead shark. And I don't know what else. That's all I got for you. That's it. Does this stay on the map? Uh, one more island over, maybe for the gold robe guy. Or maybe right there for the gold robe guy. What the heck is this? Oh, that's the, uh, isn't that the, uh, snailfish something, rather? Is this where the gold robe guy is? Probably here, right? You posted a picture of a glowing octopus in the stream? Why, well, yo, a glowing octopus? Ew. Is that real? Dude, that looks like a octopus that's straight out of, like, Fast and the Furious. Is this the yellow robe guy? If it's not, dude, I'm screwed. I'm so screwed. Uh, I don't know, but there's a dock, so I'm happy. Back up. Campsite. I think we actually been to this campsite, no? Next to the dock is a derelict campsite. Strange symbols are sketched into the sand. What do you do? We search the campsite, of course. No, we inspect the symbols in the sand. The symbols span the breadth, breadth of the camp, twisting this way and that. Some are grouped together into what must be words. Fresh footprints tread carefully around each symbol. The last symbol trails off hur hurriedly and uh, looks unfinished. We inspect the last symbol more closely. A glint of metal shines up through the sand and we get a sapphire ring. You take it for yourself. Fresh footprints tread carefully around each symbol. The last symbol trails off. We inspect the footprints. Whoever left the footprints was barefoot. The prints are large and wide, perhaps indicating they were left by a man, but you don't know much about footprints. Fresh footprints tread carefully around each symbol. The last symbol trails off and so on and so forth. We search the campsite now. An extremely rough and worn sheet of fabric has collapsed at the base of this some wooden supports. There's nothing remarkable about it. All right, well, that's that, I guess. But we will rest. Regardless, we will rest. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. 
<clears throat> it's three crabs. You're putting in more than three get the crab leg than you left in the other net pot and two small crab. What? The puzzle, five cods, curry, curvy fish. Is that all it is? It's five cods. Is that it? Just five cods? Still gotta find this uh, yellow man. Okay, so he's not over there. He's not here. Hey, Outlaw Amber, how you doing? Good to see you. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well, yeah? What's going on? Hope you're doing good. Dun, 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 dun. Is that where the yellow man is? It's a yellow man over here. It's a small island. He might be actually here, yeah? I see a buoy. What do you guys think of the game atmosphere and how it looks? Looks great. Ah. What the heck is this? You pull up to a wreck with a familiar looking hole. It's almost identical to the ship given to you by the mayor, except... Okay, I think we've actually been here now. Yeah, we definitely have been here before. Where where did this yellow man go? Over here is the blue man. That's the blue man. Maybe the yellow man's right there in that cove? Where would that be? Right there? I guess so. I want to give him this fish before it rots, dude. This... Ah, damn it, it rotted. Now I gotta go to the researcher fast before this other fish rots. Excuse me, dolphins, can you pipe down a bit? <laughs> You're jumping way too much. All right, well, that's that, I guess. That's not gonna help us. There's a humpback whale, somewhere. Very loud. Ah, very upset. Very upset that that rotted. I'm trying to find that yellow robe guy. Couldn't find him. This reminds you of Moonglow Bay, but way more optimized. Yeah, dude. This game totally reminded me of Moonglow Bay. For sure. For sure, for sure. Why did the music pick up so heavily? Look how fast that sun is going now. <laughs> Woo. All right, here we go. Researcher, I got what you need. Hello, yes. Tell me about this. I got exactly what you need. Perfect. I have good news and bad news. Uh, what do you want to hear first? Just give me the bad news. The bad news is that the samples you retrieve from the basin have dangerously high high counts of cellular mutations. Uh, the good news is is that I've honored in I've honed in on what's causing the abnormalities in the ecosystem. This all points to one thing: that thing in the basin is harmful to life at a cellular level. It damages everything around it, whether passively or with intent. I need to write up a report on my findings. Sorry, our findings immediately. Um, maybe now they'll take me seriously. Oh, how rude of me. You've done all this for me, and I've not got much to say uh, 
I've got not much to say thank you with. Um, you should have this. What is it? A plan for the future. She opens a drawer and pulls out a book. Sheepishly, she hands it to you. This is something I wrote during my studies. I think it will be useful to you. Thanks again for your help. I recommend that you avoid the area. It doesn't seem safe to be near the basin. Oh, okay. Well, very well. So she gave us a book. We'll start reading that book, I guess. Um, I would like to sell the rest of this stuff. Yeah, I would like to sell the rest of that stuff. Let's go ahead and rest. No, not undock. Let's rest and then head back to the other little fish market over here. And hopefully I can get the fang tooth again. I don't know. I forgot how I got the fang tooth. Did I get it in the pot? I might have gotten it in a pot or I might have fished it. I can't remember. I think I might have gotten it in a pot. The, uh, the pot that we have, yeah? <clears throat> yeah, that music's picked up big time. It was like, dun 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 dun, here we go. You're about to get smacked with this. Oh. I fished it with a rod? Okay. I'm really gonna need the coastal... Thing maybe maybe not I said cod cod five cod fish for that last puzzle yeah is that what that, that was let's sell this fish before it spoils should be a, enough a lot of money yeah Right. Right. Give me the floating dock. Uh, hit me with this, please, and thank you. You're welcome. Holy hell. Okay. Let's go back over here. Let's check our pot again. Holy hell, what the hell is that? Crown of Thorns? Ay. All that looks terrifying and disgusting. Are you the Fang Tooth? Nope. Alright, let's sell this fish real quick. Guess we don't need it. 161? I'll take it. Alright. I'll try my best to try to find this fang tooth. I can't remember where. I guess you know what? Encyclopedia. Uh, I just don't. I wish you could like search a name. Discovered. Um, because you you just have to like what go through every single page to find exactly what you're looking for. Um, fang tooth. Oh, there we go. Abyssal. One caught rod. Stellar basin. So here. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. That's definitely not it. Because I really want to, like, continue the path with the, uh, with the gold robe guy, but, I mean, I gotta find the son of a gun first now, don't I? The... Angler fishers are like, like, like I don't even want to like know. I don't. I don't even want to know. Now this is the hammerhead shark, no? This is the hammerhead shark. I don't know if I need that or not. Probably not. I don't know what the fang uh, tooth fish looks like. I mean, I know it's that tiny little small thing, but I don't know what it looks like as far as, like, in the water. Yo, this is actually kind of... Yo, wait. Can I actually blow that up if I wanted to? <gasps> I can! And there's probably refined metal right there. Ooh, baby. I need to get some dynamite. I do. I do, I do, I do. 
Uh, hello? What is this? <gasps> There's a dog barking! There's a skinny brown dog leaping around in the shallows. Occasionally it lunges at the water, snapping at some small silvery fish. Its techniques is ineffective. Disembark. Continue sailing? No, this is a disembark uh, moment. You jump off the boat into the high water. The dog stops uh, chasing fish and focuses on you. Then you, uh, sl uh, you slowly approach. The, you pet the dog. You're too far away to do that. Right. You slowly approach. You wade towards the shore. As you get near, the dog backs up a little as it sits. You call for the dog. He makes soft, encouraging noises, and the dog cautiously approaches. It stops just out of your reach. You slowly approach. You move closer to the, do to the dog. It seems startled and runs back up the shoreline. You hold out some fish in your hand. You hold out some fish scraps in the palm of your hand. The dog approaches slowly, but soon begins looking at them. You then pet the dog. You reach out and gently pet the dog. It eyes follows your hand, and it seems to understand you're not a threat. You pet the dog again. You pet the dog again, it seems to be enjoying it. You pet the dog once more. You pet the dog and it seems to be enjoying it. Then you pet it again. And then you do it again. And you do it again. And you do it again. You do it again. Then you leave. You make your way back towards the boat. As you're wading out, you hear the sloshing of four legs cutting through the water. You stop and turn around. The dog is standing a few paces behind you. Uh, it tilts its head questionably. Let it follow you. You continue, this time with the dog alongside. Its tail is wagging so hard it beats the water into a froth behind it. When you get to the boat, you turn around to pull the dog on board! You lift the dog onto the deck. It walks around briefly before curling into a ball and looking up at you. Maybe you could find this dog a more permanent home. We have a dog. But we need to find it a home. <laughs> uh, right. Oh, no. Oh, no. We have to find the dog a home. My lord. Wow. 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 You think traveling merchant would want the dog? Huh. Hey again, come by for a chat. No, I guess not. Who's going to want the dog? Maybe the collector? I spotted a dog near the abandoned resort at Stella Basin. It looks like a stray. It's bound to be hungry. I could try to find a more permanent home for the dog. Maybe. Right? Maybe. You'll take him? Same. That's what I'm saying. Oh, the scientist. Ooh. Ooh, good idea. The scientist. The scientist. Let's go see the scientist. We try to find the fang tooths again while I'm doing this. Oh my god. What are we about to go into the Thunderdome? Enough of the music. Hey, yeah, gaming. Take care, Sergeant Cat. Do take care. Thanks for hanging out with us. And thanks for the re-up as well. Researcher. Researcher's gonna get this dog, no? I know, I want to keep the dog, too. I do. I do want to keep the dog. Yeah. Hello, researcher. Oh, hello again. What do you need? This dog needs a home. Do you want it? Hmm. A dog? Oh, gosh. Let me see. Uh, the dog bounds over to the researcher. She crouches down to pet the dog, grinning. The dog licks her chin in response. I could definitely take this one off your hands. And I love the company. Are you sure? No, I'm actually not sure. I wish I could do the complete opposite. But yeah, go ahead. Take the dog. <gasps> yes, thank you. Oh, uh, we're going to be such good friends. He could be my assistant. Suddenly, the dog stands upright and begins the wretch. Its stomach heaving. Seconds later, it vomits in a wet glob onto the floor. Something glistens through the mucus. Oh, um, that's interesting. I suppose that's yours if you want it. I suppose it is. I can clean the rest up. Don't worry about it. 
All right. I'll take it. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> All righty. That's a jet drive. Holy crap. You know, a jet drive wouldn't be a bad idea. Because that's one tiny little, uh, uh, little place it takes. Okay. Well, then. Um, I guess, again, the whole thing with the fang tooth and all that, like... I could definitely go search for it. Catch a snake mackerel. Hell do I know where the freaking snake mackerel is. Uh, let's see. The oar fish, the gulper eel, the goliath tiger fish, and that fish. Again, I I'm really not, uh... Not 100% sure either. Okay. Um, how close are we actually? Hang on a sec. How close are we to... Oh, wait. We can't do it here. I was going to say, how close are we to upgrading our hole again? Let's go out. I mean, I guess we could kind of look at the twisted strand, no? We could. Let's go look at the twisted... Uh, Twisted strand, yeah? Let's go this way. That way. The twisted strand. Now, I saw that there was a dock, or there's something here, like this little black dot. So, there's something here that we can dock at. Question is, what is it? Now, I do have this. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Good for you. Wonderful. Good to see you. Hope you. Yeah, yeah. Blow me up one more time. Blow me twice. Blow me three times. I don't know. What the heck you doing, dude? I'll take it. What the heck is this? A viper fish? I'll take it. Did you see the blowhole on that thing? <laughs> it's raining. We almost became a casualty. Ah! Thunder and lightning. Oceanic. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's new. Black... Tuna. That's a new one for us. That's a razor mouth tuna? Oh, that's disgusting. Not a fan of that. It's dark. 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 It's dark, the dark, dark, dark. It's dark. It's dark. It's dark, the dark, dark, dark. Oi, oi, oi. I gotta get to the dock, dude. I gotta get to the dock. I gotta go. 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 Is the night dangerous? The night is very dangerous. I see lights in the distance. I see night, light, night, lights, light, nights, night, lights in the distance. Don't think the whale wants to blow you. This is this is probably very factual. <laughs> oh, there goes my light. That's all right. We're here. 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 Whoever you are, I'm here. I'm here. I'm very, very much here. Don't read chat and drive at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> very, very, very good. Very good. Let's see. Let's sell everything that we got, right? Is this the same person? Different person. Not every crab. Okay, wait. We don't need to talk to you about any of that. <laughs> All right, let's see here.
Almost $200. I could take it. I'm just afraid that I'm going to need this stuff. Well, I, it was very, very sim simple to, to get that, yeah? Fairly simple. Let's just rest. We, we're just here. Yeah, we're just here. We're just here. Okay, yeah. We're just here. It's fun. Inside. Oh, inside. There's another island off to the right over here, yeah? The music. Ew, what the heck? What is that? Oh, it's a plane. Dog tags. A plane. Interesting. What the heck is that? Research. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll take that. I hate everything about you. I do. I, I just, I don't, I hate you. Just, that's it. it that, that's all I got for you. I, yeah. That's it. Interesting. Now, I think I, what I want to do is I want to peek in here. I just want to peek inside. I don't necessarily want to, like... I, I, I want to, like, maybe see what there is here. You know? What does that actually take? Hang on. Postal. I just want to take a peek inside. I don't want to dive head deep into this. What does that take? Mangrove. Okay, so they're going to take mangroves here. That... Yeah. That makes sense. Yep. I hate that. I actually hate that. Whatever that is, that... I hate it. Yeah. I, I, I hate it! I, I actually, I just slammed into the side of the island. Oh my God. All right. Look, I took a peek inside and I regret everything. Hey, Awful Gaming, how you doing? And Callie Ann says, hey, have you tried to put the fish into one of those altars in the islands that have fish shapes? Yes, we have. We did that in the beginning of the stream today. We did the crab one, and it actually gave us a really, really cool uh, crab pot. Yeah. It gave us a really, really, really good crab pot, for sure. Let's see here. Let's put that in storage. That in storage, too. Uh, let's go here. Let's repair. Okay, let's... let's you know what? There's other things I want to do right now. I don't want to worry about this quite yet. There's other things I still want to do. I'm going to manifest. I want to get uh, dynamite because I want to actually upgrade our hole first. That's what I want to do, first and foremost. Postal, dude. So let's go buy some dynamite real quick. Slide right on into the DMs, no big deal. The lighthouse keeper approaches you on the dock wearing a questioning expression. You must have been around most of the islands by now. Have you found whatever it is you are looking for? I'm not sure. Her face softens. Remember that you are in control. If you are having doubts, it's foolish to blindly preserve. You can always look for alternative paths. She turns from you, shaking her head and muttering. Uh, muttering. She heads back towards the lighthouse. <sighs> what is it? I've been finding relics for the collector. Relics? Collector? I'm not sure what you're hoping to achieve with this character. Do you even know? Uh, do you even know? Have you spotted? Have you stopped to consider it? 
Uh, what do you know about the old mayor of the Little Morrow? That's, he's, I try not to think about him. It's a painful memory for us all. Some nights I still think I can hear the hum of the engines sailing past the bay. But I know he's gone, and I don't want to talk about it anymore. Interesting. Very well. Uh, right. I don't think we have anything, right? No. We'll rest for the night. Actually, we're going to undock and go to the... Um, actually, yes. Buy the dynamite, undock, go to the trader. That's what we're going to do. Shipwright. Give me... Wait, you don't sell it? Oh, so it's not universal then. That's that's a bummer. That's a new uh, light, though. That's pretty cool. I thought it was universal, but I guess not, no? I gotta go to the other uh, people then. Like in the Stellar Basin and stuff like that. Or at the other place. Alright, let me go to the uh, trader and sell a bunch of stuff real quick, too. Eh, your eyeballs. Get your eyeballs out of here. I don't want your eyeballs. Let's go here. Let's go here. Give me that. Now, I don't know if I need the dog tags. I've never seen this. I assume I don't. I can sell it, so I'm going to sell it. Okay. I think we're good. Yeah. What's it? $1,200 we have. My lord. That's pretty good. Ah, oh, very good. Okay, so let's go get the dynamite, and I'm going to get the reinforced metal that's actually hidden. Kind of by where we got the dog. That's where we're heading to right now. So we'll head back in that direction. And maybe I can get lucky and get a fang tooth again. Actually, you know what? Let's see here. Fang tooth. I forgot what. It was like a lower number, I believe. Fang tooth, fang tooth, fang tooth. I should look abyssal, yeah? There we go. I think that means day or night. It doesn't matter when. Day or night. I do need the dong tags. Well, then that is that. <laughs> All right. We'll grab the dynamite. We'll go get the reinforced metal. And we should have enough. Well, we needed $800, right? $800 to get the, uh, to get the hole upgrade uh, with the reinforced metal as well. What the heck is this? Let me in it. Yep. Now, I know what this is, but I wanted that. Nice. What is that? A barrel eye? Maybe I didn't know what that was. A void eye. Look at that. That is really cool. This was not the fish I was expecting. Definitely not the droids we were looking for here. I'll take it, though. There we go. Onward. I think the fang tooth fish I found maybe over here somewhere. I can't remember. There's the angler fish again. Or maybe I found the fang tooth in the middle. I'm not sure. I'm not messing with that guy. No, no, no. No, thank you. Not messing with him again. go just go right around wait a sec where's the dock at oh right there okay we'll buy the dock well sorry we're not gonna buy the dock we're gonna buy the dynamite from the dock what the heck is that oh it disappeared Frick. is that the octopus what is that I don't know what that is. 
All right. Let's dock up. Fish market. Yes, please and thank you. $100. Easy. All right, let's do it. I need you. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Not the fish market. I need you to give me some of that. Wait, you're selling a research part? Interesting. Interesting. I'm gonna buy that. I'm gonna buy that. I'm not gonna buy the reinforced metal. Because I think I can get free one. If I get just one, I might then come back and buy that one. Okay, let's rest. No, not undock. Let's rest. There you go. Hydration, everybody, don't forget. Face the other way, Theodore Tugboat. Thank you. Don't mess with that crap. You read that price is 31,000? I probably would have possibly passed a stone if that was true. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Let's blow it. Okay, excuse me. Rephrase that. Let's blow it up. Yes. 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 Get in there. Pretty sure that's reinforced metal. There better be more than one piece here. There better be two pieces. Because I need two pieces. Oh, damn it. There's one piece. One piece. Really. Lovely. E E A beautiful. Okay, well, all we need then is just one more reinforced metal, and then we can upgrade our boat once again. I still can't believe that I, I do not know where exactly. I'm blown away. I, I am. I'm blown away that I still can't find the yellow robe guy. I really can't. I thought I've gone through all these all these islands over here. Maybe I maybe I haven't gone through all of them, or maybe I passed them or something or whatnot. But I could have swore he was like down here. Like I thought he was like right here. This man is like incredible. He's like hiding. Literally in front of us. I'm gonna see again. A plan for the future has been completed. There's the other totem, by the way. Uh, so that, what is that? A plan for the future. What does that tell us? 15% chance to not reduce fish stock when catching a fish with a rod. Oh, that's pretty cool. Why not just go buy it? Because, like, you know, free. Powerful fish shapes. That is... You think that's a hammerhead in there, yeah? You think? Has to be a hammerhead, right? And then other things around it? <gasps> that's not what I'm looking for anymore. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. The right. Okay, that's where we stayed before. To rest. You know what? We're gonna rest right here again. Is one of those tuna? The one to the left? I don't know if it's a tuna or if it's like a... I'm not sure what that is. Let's rest. Before it gets too dark. The yellow robe guy is in K2. What the frick is K2? <laughs> Oh, God. 
Ha! See, I okay. I did not know the map was reading. Okay, so K2. Okay, so where we were going. Okay, right. All right, that's good. I didn't know the the map had uh, coordinates like that in this game. <laughs> had no idea. Did not know. Uh, this way. Yep. Right over there. Now, at least we know where he's at. We just need to find the fish now. Which is so hard. We found it that one time. What the hell is that? We've never seen that. Is that gonna go... A ghost shark? <gasps> Dude, that's what goes in the, 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 the thing. Yeah. That, that's over here. That definitely looks like a ghost shark. One of them... Okay, so hammerhead shark, ghost shark. Maybe that thing? Whatever that fish is? Yo. I'm feeling it. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Let me get the coastal. Let me get the coastal. Let me get the coastal. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give oh, I can't go into my, uh... I can't go into my, uh, storage here. Frick. That hurts my heart a lot. Alright, well, we can at least put the ghost shark away. I know tuna in real life are pretty difficult to reel in. Tuna are massive in real life. Like the size of a school bus. Okay. That definitely looks like a ghost shark, no? Again, I don't know if the game is going based off of what things look like, but you would have to assume, right? Like, that fits like a glove. Right? Right. Hey, Alex, how you doing? I think I need coastal. Because I think some of these other fish out here... Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I think some of these other fish need the coastal run. Uh, I do not need that. So let's go back to Ingfell. Ingfell, yeah? Let's go back to Ingfell. This gentleman should be right over here. There he is. He's right there. Yeah, you know, I had the fish for you and then it rotted because I couldn't find you. That's what I have to say to him. I do got to use my telescope more often, huh? My spyglass. Oceanic perk. Like, how the hell? Supposed to drive and scope at the same time. Tiger mackerel. I don't think I need a tiger mackerel, do I? No, I think that's not the one we need. It's a snake mackerel. Right. What the heck is that? Yo ho, yo ho, what pirate's life for me? Yeah, I don't know what the heck that is. Sturgeon. Do you think that thing back there was sturgeon? You think it was sturgeon, maybe? Huh? You think the totem has sturgeon with it? Looks like the brown gray shark fits there. Maybe another I haven't found, though. Let's see here. Is the sturgeon fit the shape? Because I totally don't remember what the shape looks like. I think it's sturgeon, yeah? Okay, let's not sell that fish, just in case. Put that in storage. Uh, yeah, you, uh, do you have a reinforced that? You do, 450. If I buy this, I'm not gonna be able to buy my hole because I need 800, but we'll put that in storage for now, I guess. And then we'll just sleep here for the night, I guess. 
That area looks larger than the sturgeon. I know, that was the last sturgeon that existed. Uh, oh, yeah, why I'm here, I kind of want to do a little bit of changing out, I think. Is it here? Do I change out? I think I want to put the coastal back on. What am I rolling with? The abyssal and the haddle? Well, if I do that, then... I can't catch the uh, other fish. The uh, one for the yellow robe. The fang tooth, I don't think, right? Yeah. You know what? We'll just leave it as is. Let's take a look at research real quick. Coastal, shallow, mangrove, volcanic. This is actually everything we need in a fishing rod. So we've unlocked that. Question is, I don't think we have a hole that can fit it. Do we? Actually, we might. We do! It's $540. I'm gonna buy it. Yeah. So we can have this, and then we can have Abyssal and Haddle. The only thing we wouldn't be able to do is... Um, Oceanic. Yeah, I'm gonna buy this. I'm gonna buy this. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. Alright, just half a moment. That actually helps out a lot. Alright, let's uninstall that for the time being. Just for now, just for now. We'll go back to it very, very soon. Place that there. Perfect. Add that on rest and then we're gonna go back towards the uh, totem yeah anywhere anyone know where to catch a snake mackerel i don't i still need to catch a snake mackerel that's one thing on the list for me all right so now we have a little bit of vers versatile versa versatile we're a little bit versatile yeah what the heck is this tiger mackerel got it Whoa! That was very rude. Okay, stonefish. Let's go back out this way, yeah? Oceanic perch. Pull the sturgeon rot. Yep, sturgeon rot. You're right about that. Blackmouth salmon. Tiger. Tuna. Okay, well, F me sideways. Love the fact that we lost out on the sturgeon. That was my doing. But look, there's sturgeon right there, so that's better. <sighs> Lucky me. My lord. Let's go. Ding dong. More? Plus, this one, we get more sturgeon out of it, yeah? Ding dong. I am terrible at the Tetris game. Got super lucky here, though. It can fit. It can fit. You just gotta make it fit. Figure out how to... Figure it out. There you go. All right, we got four sturgeon. Let's see if this works. Let's go to the totem now. There's question mark over here. I think that's a research point too. Research thing, my bobber. sick, dude. Alright, totem. It doesn't have abyssal? No, it doesn't have abyssal. It doesn't have hadle either. Haddle. Uh, those are the two things it doesn't have. The, the new rod. Uh, excuse me, did I go past? Did that one right there? Which island is it? Is it that little island? Can't remember which one it was. Is 
Is it this one? I know it's like on a tiny, tiny island. Actually, it might be on... What is that? H2? H2? Frick, and it's nighttime too. This is bad news. There was one more surgeon in the ocean? There was. I just can't fit it in the boat, though. I can't remember the exact place of the snake macro, but I remember it being a long trip to get. That's a good shout there. Blue and die. Blue and die. Yeah, I think it was this one over here. Just travel with no lights on. Yeah. If you can't see it, no big deal. It can't hurt you, I guess. No. Here we go. <clears throat> Is the sturgeon where it's at? Looks like sturgeon. You passed the red eye fish, you need to go back? No, I already got the red eye fish. We already finished that. Yeah, definitely not the sturgeon then. Seriously, looks like the brain ground shark shape to me. Might be right you might be right about the because that shape shape might be that shark you might be right this might be a, a rock full of sharks could be right i might have to go and try to find that shark i think that was by the starting island so to speak lights off oh dude look at that the lighthouse that looks so cool way out there It's like a bronze whaler shark. Am I close to a dock? I'm not. Actually, you know what? F that noise. What are you talking about? Manifest. There you go. There's a tornado. <laughs> There's a tornado. I ain't about that life. No, thank you. All right, let's see if we can find the shark then over here. Are you effing kidding me? And then I go and damage the damn rod that that you need to catch the shark with. Ay, ay, ay. All right, let me go repair this real quick. Unbelievable. can't drive dude just can't drive hello yeah rip, yeah i don't have the money to repair I, I, yeah I, I will here in a sec i'm gonna sell you a bunch of sturgeon or sell somebody a bunch of sturgeon here there we go thank you sir uh yeah and then let's go here and then repair my stuff appreciate that terrible dumb of me i know crazy uh let's go to storage let's put that in storage as well all right there we go there's fast travel there's a manifest yes there is yeah. You just leave the cove into the west? Okay, the west would be that way. Right? Southwest? Southwest? You want some peanuts? Anybody want some peanuts? Southwest? 
Now there is a shark right here, right? There's a shark over here. Let's see what this bad guy is all about. Hello, big guy. Now this is yeah 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 yeah. Bronze whaler. Hit me with another one. All right. Let's go. I think that's gonna fit like a freaking glove. I think it is. What do you think? All right, time to go to the totem. I think that's gonna fit like a glove. Holy moly, here we go. This game kind of reminds me of making me fear the dark. My heart just straps, just starts pounding the second the light begins to fade, I know. It's very creepy. Very sinister, very creepy indeed. Hey, Spec Bites, good morning to you. How you doing? Morning to you. Hope you're doing well. It has to be, right? That has to be it. That has to be the one. And that would be a totem full of sharks. It would be the ghostly shark, that shark, the whaler shark. And then I wonder what we get out of it. I really like the crab pot that we got. That was really cool. Which I should probably repick up again. Right? So it's another shark. So it's a you're telling me there's another shark. Oi oi oi. Interesting. Wonder if you get a re weird rod out of it. That'd be kind of cool. Is the gray and brown shark different than this one? I don't even know what the gray brown shark is. I'll be real with you. We're gonna rest here. Oh, that's the gray and brown one you were on about? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I see. It's the same shark, right? We're all talking about the same shark then. Just describing it differently. So we need one more shark then. What is this? Red snapper. Oh, the waves. Blue mackerel, no. Sailfish, no. Oh my god, this is making me... Jesus. Uh, no more waves, please. There's cod. 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 Somebody said cod earlier, too. Let's go to the cod. Let's go to the cod. There's a shark that only comes out at night. Is it the ghostly shark? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Cod. Oh, can you actually mess with the wave smoothness? Okay, nice. I'm gonna catch a few of these. We might need this. Let's go to settings real quick. Uh, yes, please and thank you. Accessibilities, is that where you go? Accessibilities? Crank that thing up all the way, please and thank you. 
<laughs> okay. All right, so I'm doing the COD. Because even on the statue, it might even look like a COD. That's what it looks like. The statue looks like COD. So maybe these sharks are irrelevant, and maybe these CODs are going to fit like a glove. Let's try it. Might as well, right? Honestly, what did the smoothness do? I do not know. Can't beat a good cod and ch uh, cod and chips. I I like fishing fishing. Uh... Whoa, that's a shark right there. What do I need for that? An abyssal frick. That must be the ghostly shark. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, fishing chips is good. Black tip reef shark. Those are all the sharks we need. So the black, black tip reef shark. Yeah. It looks like cod to me. That doesn't. That don't look like fish. Hang on a sec. Let me just experiment with something. Was a good try was it not <laughs> it looked like it but maybe not anyways let's take that out that back in there there we go okay let's actually manifest Let's go back to the beginning island, yeah? Hello. How are you? <clears throat> now let's go on this side of the ocean. Actually, let's rest and let's go on that side of the ocean. Now the only shark you can get at night, I would assume, is the ghostly one, no? Maybe. Or maybe that's the black tip? I don't even know, is there a black tip shark in this game? I don't remember seeing one. If the fish don't fit, you must have quit. So the black tip reef shark? I don't remember seeing the black tip reef. Do I have it in my encyclopedia? I don't even know how I would even search that. Um, I guess... Black mouth. I don't think I have. I'm assuming... Yeah, I'm assuming I don't. Okay. Alright, let's actually sell this fish, though. I think a little bit of extra money there. Alright, let's go. You. What are you and why are you here? It's a bronze whaler as well. Okay, not what we're looking for. Not what we're looking for. I don't know which way to go. Maybe this way? Maybe to the east? Looking for sharks. Looking for sharks. Looking for sharks. They could be closer to uh, to the mangrove area. Definitely could. We haven't really gone through the mountains here. Oh, there's a shark. That's a shark. I think it might be the same, though. It might be the same whaler. Bronze whaler. Looks like it. Yeah definitely is. Uh, I'll hold on to it for now. I might get rid of it, though. Yeah, we haven't really explored the mountain area a bit, have we? Yeah. It's a Mara Ocean at night? Mara? Oh. Mara Ocean at night. Okay. 
another shark over there too. A castaway, I'm saved. Ah, you are a sight for sore eyes. Uh, excuse me, what happened? I washed up here. Oh, it must uh, be some two weeks ago now. We were in rough seas and when a wave hit us broadside, I was jolted overboard and swept away. I thought my crew would have come to find me by now, but your, yours is the first ship I've seen pass by here. Did the boys send you looking for me? Uh, no. Oh, well, I'm sure they're out there looking anyways. Can you get me to Little Morrow, stranger? I should be able to catch them there when the next, when they, uh, next stop. Yeah, I mean, yeah, sure. I'll take you to Little Morrow. Uh, as long as you don't mind, uh, you know, kicking it up with some, uh, with some shark. Yeah. The castaway climbs aboard. All right, very well. Oh, look at that SOS. That's funny. How cool is that? Nice. That's the same one. Ooh, what is that? Oh, stingrays. We haven't seen stingrays yet. Yeah, we definitely haven't seen stingrays yet. I want the stingray. I do, I do, I do. Uh, I'll leave it. I'll leave it be. We'll go drop this guy off. Hey, LJ. LJ says, hey, I'm late to the stream, so I'm sorry if this has been asked, but... Uh, can you use your scope on the totem to see it better, or does the totem not show what fish sharks you need? Uh, that's a good question, actually. I don't know. I haven't actually... I don't think it would tell us what it is, but... Um, actually, being able to, uh, to use the scope on the totem, that would make things a little bit clearer now, wouldn't it? That's a good idea. But good to see ya. How you doing? Hey, Crazy Cajun, how you doing? Hey, Cassie, how you doing, Cassie? Whoop. Little Maro. Yeah. The Greater Maro in the direction of Blackstone Isle at night is where the Black Top Shark is, or the Black Tip Shark is. Okay. Um... Greater Morrow. So that's great. This is Greater Morrow. So we need to go to the other place for this guy. The Little Morrow. I don't want to do the nighttime, dude. Turn my lights on. Oh. Ah, that's the sweet, rank smell of civilization. I thought I could never miss it. He turns to you, for someone who has just been saved, he seems gloomy. I've not got much on me, as you can imagine, and I've seen, I have a feeling, dude, the flies are, seem so freaking real. <laughs> and I have a feeling this isn't worth much more I anymore, uh, for me at least, but perhaps it will be something worth for you. Let me guess, I research. He removes a singet ring from his left hand and presses it into yours. Huh. That's actually really cool. On a better horizons, friend. Farewell. And then I'm going to sell it right behind your back. How dare I? How dare I? <laughs> so we're still saving up for $800, too, for our upgraded hole. Actually, well, yeah. Um, that's still what we're doing. Okay, so since it's nighttime, let's go ahead and, I guess, attempt this. Black tip shark badoer. What the heck is going on here? Uh, let's also have banish open. That looks like a sting, right? Okay, there, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the boat with the boat that's not a boat. You. This is it. This is it, dude. That's the black tip reef. Frick yeah. All right. Let's rest. Let's go deliver it to the totem. Yeah? That's what I'm talking about.
I should have sold the other shark, huh? Uh, rest. It's probably gonna rot, actually, right now. No, I'm surprised it hasn't. Alright, well. Yay, 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 yay. Da 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 da. Go. There we go. Nice little money grab. Thirty bucks. Thirty nine dollars. We were all sweating on thirty nine dollars, huh? There we go. We sweating on that. I still want to grab my um my awesome. My awesome uh, pot. What the? Why is that so massive? It's the whale or shark. Yeah, I want to. I still want to get my um, my awesome pot. Okay. But the awesome pot is all at the uh, stellar basin, I believe. I'll have to grab that before we like make headways to uh, to the tangled area, to the mangrove area. Let's see, let's see. Still in the right direction, yeah? Yes. Right there, there's our island. Oh yeah, we'll try the scope on the science, uh, scope for the science. We'll do the scope on the uh, totem, yeah. We'll do that too. Just so we can kind of get like a better look at it and see, see what it's all about. What is this shark right here? Ah, that must have been the ghostly one. Not what I meant to do. I'll be real with you. Absolutely not what I meant to do. But there we are. Go away. Yeah, so you definitely get a... I guess you definitely would get a better view. For some reason, that one on the left still doesn't look like a shark. Here we go. You slide the four sharks into the fissure, and they slip down out of sight. Moments later, you spot something rising towards the surface of the water. Ew. A treacherous device crafted in the deep. It will raise the kindred to the light. A viscera crane. Abyssal and haddle. So, this is interesting. Um, let's kind of compare that real quick with the other one that we have. We'll compare it. What the heck is that? Oh, a little, little thing there. So let's head back to the Stellar Basin. Right? Head back to the Stellar Basin, and I will compare the two rods that we have now. I mean, it's a new rod, so that's cool. Yeah. That's the gross rod. <laughs> Doesn't raise dead sharks to fight for you? Sad face. Hey, Alex, thank you for the re-up on the membership. I appreciate that, Alex. Thank you for that, buddy. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well, yeah? That was very kind of you. Um, so... We have this now, right? This is the other one. So what's the difference between this one and this one, you might ask? Honestly, the fishing speed. That's the difference. It's a faster speed. We could actually probably sell this, maybe, if it will let, let us. Oh. 
We can sell it. So we don't need this anymore. So we will sell that. Get that extra money back. We technically don't need this anymore either. And we don't need that either. We don't need that. But they won't let us uh, do anything with that. I guess we could discard it. I guess there's no value. Okay. So that gives us $1,000, which is good. Because now we can actually upgrade our hole. Right? And this will do what? Upgrades your vessel to a tier 3 hole and adds 9... Holy crap. 9 new cargo spaces? Send me, dude. Tier 3. Nice. We tiered 3 it up. Yeah! That's what I... Look at that! Yeah, yeah! Alright! For show, for show. Look at that. That's really cool. Ooh, I like it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I think I'm gonna go ahead and uninstall this. Oceanic. And install this. Instead now. That's pretty cool. Hey, Malachi. How you doing, Malachi? So now we can run Coastal, Shallow, Abyssal, Hadal, Volcanic, Mangrove, Dredge. The only thing we can't do is oceanic. That's one thing that we're missing. Okay. Let's look at shipyard. No, sorry. Let's not look at here. Let's look at uh, floating dock. Let's look at rod spot. We go here. Put that right there. And we'll get all this other stuff that we need later. Okay. Uh, this no, I'm not really uh, I'm not really wanting that right now cargo probably more yeah. There we go cool, okay nice um, And then we'll rest and then I'll pick up my pot and I think we're gonna kind of mosey on over to the uh, swamp area I believe I mean really there's a lot of other pursuits going on here especially like the snake mackerel the other rare fish the freaking fang tooth which has been kind of a a D, but, uh, or a B, either or. What are you? No, it's like a barracuda or something. Let's grab our pot, though. I think I want to repair this, too. Look at that. Pick it up. Brick. All right, hang on a second. Let me sell this stuff, and then I'll pick it up and repair it. All right. Dude, look at our boat. I feel like it's faster. I know we didn't do any engine upgrades, but it just it feels and looks faster. It looks good, though. Wow. Sounds different, too. Sell all that fish. Wonderful. Let's go grab our thing and repair it. Yeah, it does sound different. Sounds like an actual boat. Head up. All right, let's repair it. Mm. All right, cool, 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 cool. All right, so now I think we uh, we must uh, we must go to the swamp. Flip the engine. Wait, what? Let's see. Like that? Do that. All right, let's go ahead and rest for the day because it's going to be a long time before we actually uh, can get all the way over to the, to the yeah, yeah, to the yeah, yeah, to that, to the, uh, to the swamp, to the swamp, swamp. Yeah, swamp. All right. Angle, angler fish. Red snapper. <gasps> Bang tooth! Ah! I'm coming for you, baby! Oh, I'm coming for you, and I'm gonna give it to the 
yellow robe guy. All right, we're not going to the swamp quite yet, are we? Hell to the no. Not yet. This might as well just deplete it all, no? We got the fang tooth, though. That's pretty good. Okay. Whoop. Now to the yellow robe, man. Hooray! We've done it. We've absolutely done it. Have a good night, Christina. Do take care. Thanks for hanging out with us. Have a good rest of your night. All right, I'm not going to sell all of it. I'm just going to sell some of it. There we go. Now I know exactly where he's at. Go to K2. <laughs> We're going to play bingo with a K. Yeah. K2. This is the Kmart bingo. Kmart special. It's so dramatic, isn't it? My lord. Now, the the good thing about this is that when we give him another fish, or we give the yellow robe guy a fish, we know that he's going to be asking us for another fish. But chances of us knowing that other fish are probably high, hopefully, considering all that we've done in this area. So we'll see here. Hopefully that's the case. guy how you doing mr uh mr french fry how you doing good to see you something's wrong the hooded figure is slumped long robes billowing violently you watch from a distance in some time but see no movement you turn around and leave quickly they died somebody said that earlier which is interesting because why in the world would they like why <laughs> All right, well, we've resolved it. They're dead. So be it. The person passed away, the figure in gold. Gotta love that. Anyways, let's go. Let's go. Gotta love that. Let's manifest. Um, and I will go to Little Morrow. I wonder how many days it takes for them to die, actually. Because if that's the case, you really don't want to talk to them and feed them unless you are, like, well-equipped and ready to, like, find those other fish. You know? Well, here you go, sir. Yeah, no problem. Enjoy that. Right, let's go ahead and sleep. And then we're going to the swamps. And we're going to figure out how to deal with this other weird, like, I don't even know what to call it, dude. Like, eyeball coming out of the, the freaking water thing. Ooh. Oh, it's right there. Oh, wait. Yeah. Yeah. I love the color of the drink bottles. I had those colors as my wedding. Is that right? You had the black and red as your wedding in silver? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Black, red. Wedding colors. Love it. Right, excuse me. Who's here? A broken monocule. Right. Lovely. By the way, thank you for subscribing, Landon Dixon. Appreciate that. Uh, excuse me, who are you? You pull up alongside a boat at anchor. There are signs of life on board, but nobody appears to greet you. Maybe they're having a happy time. Nope, there's no sock on the doorknob. Almost immediately, a small slot in the door snaps open. A pair of frantic eyes peer out at you. 
Who goes there? Um, a fisherman. What do you want? I was just checking to see if you're okay. Do I seem okay? No, I am very much not okay. I'm supposed to be delivering this package to Little Morrow, but I am being stalked. A huge leviathan lurks in these deep waters. I've seen it. It hung in the water, its gaping mouth just below the boat. It would have swallowed this vessel whole if I hadn't bolted for the shallows. I'm not going any further into this accursed island chain. I could deliver the package for you. You would? Oh, I guess that would work. Okay, well. The courier pushes a lumpy brown package through the door hole. It squelches slightly as you take it in your hands. Dark fluids ooze it out from one corner. Thank you, stranger. This is bound uh, for the do dock worker at Little Morrow. I'm not sure what's inside, but listen, I, I know this sounds crazy. Sometimes I think I can hear the faintest of whispers coming from it. Now, I'm not supposed to be transporting live goods. Don't have the equipment for it. So just uh, be careful with this thing, whatever it is. Here, why don't you take this too? Getting over it with a mind and body. Again, an item emerges from the door hole. This time, a book is pushed through and thuds onto the deck below. You pick it up. I'll be on my way whenever the coast is clear. Safe travels. Huh. Interesting. Well, it looks like we're not going to the swamp quite yet. <laughs> not yet. We're going to deliver a package. We're being the Pony Express as it is right now. Gee, one little spot over here, too. You did have black and red. Oh, nice. Very awesome. That's awesome. Ah! Another broken monocle. What? Is this the back side? Um, yes, this is. And look at that. That is what we were told earlier today, too. Aha, uh aha, -huh, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. There it is. Excuse me. A slab of rock. This must be the cod. No? This is the cod? I mean, look at it. That's the cod. Right? A gulf flounder. Go to the cod. That has to be the cod. More like Overseas Express. There you go. <laughs> oh, that's not what I wanted. An all-seeing cod. Freaking money, dude. I wonder if I can put the all-seeing cod in there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's the totem you mentioned earlier. That's right. I think I can put this in here, yeah? Probably not. Oh, hell to the no. Is that a buoy or is that a boat? It's a buoy. Black tip reef. No. Black grouper? No. Arrow squid. Viper fish. Okay. Okay. Let's just let's just go deliver this package and we'll get more cod in the morning. Coming through. Uh little morrow, yeah? Little morrow. Where did all the rocks go? I thought there was more rocks. Maybe not. Pony Express, Overseas Express. How about Fishy Express? Shark Express? Shark Bait Ooh Ha Ha? Uh, boom, boom, boom. Um, maybe this isn't where I needed to go. Little Morrow? I thought they said Little Morrow. Maybe not Little Morrow. Oh, wait. Maybe I just need to give it to him? Dock Worker? I've got that package here for you. It is Little Morrow. Hmm. A delivery, eh? Oh, it's a big one. Let me see. He takes a large packaging and examines it gently with his hands. He lifts it to one ear and listens for a while. He seems satisfied. Much appreciated, friend. Now, if you'll excuse me, wish me luck. 
He turns and hurries off down the dock without another word uh, to you or compensation. Hello, is everything all right? Is everything all right with you, my good man? Actually, you know what? Dock me up. Dock me up. We'll find some cod and get that totem done too. We're gonna get like three totems done today. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. Let's go. Okay, don't scope and drive at the same time though. Recipe for disaster. Good, good. There we go. This should be enough. Wake up at 4 a.m., you get two more hours out of the day. That seems very min maxi. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm gonna take that guy out, put that guy in, and maybe that guy in as well. A wave washes over the fish, sweeping them away. When the water recedes, you notice something has lodged against the rock. A sea new spindle. A hand lined reel wrapped in a length of stretchy sinew. Sinew? One end is grafted to a crude a bone hook. Well, obviously, we don't need this anymore. Well, yeah, we don't need this anymore, really. It's nice that it's a tiny little thing, because if you needed it, you could definitely put that in. I guess that makes our fishing speed in increase more if we have it. Well, I guess we could use it then. If it increases our fishing speed, why not? We'll, we'll use it. Alright. That's pretty cool. Nice. So we got that taken care of. Maybe now. We will go to the swamp. Or maybe that boat is okay or gone maybe let's go talk to the yeah let's go talk to the uh boat maybe the boat it's the boat is gone the boat is actually completely gone oh okay interesting all right well two to lose to you let's see here rickety pontoon rickety pontoon let's go over here because this is where that um that plane was. I don't think I... What the heck is that? That's dolphins. I don't think I actually... Um... Oh, my lord. <laughs> How did the waves smooth out? You tell me. I don't know. You tell me. All right. All right. Let's see here. Now that's the crab man. We don't want to touch him. We don't want to mess with him. We don't want to be anywhere near him. We didn't go on this side. Just let's just look on the back side here. You never know. We'll stop at the uh, at the at the dock here. A lot of question marks going about. A lot of question marks indeed. So many question marks that I kind of want to get into here. Like, whatever the heck that is, I want it. It's a gray mullet. All right, maybe I don't really want that. There we go. Here we are. Nice little money grab here. Then I guess I'll put the trap down here, too, just to see what I can catch. There we go. There's a lot of fish here. Oh, that's a rare one. Trophy. Nice. And what I'll do is I'll put the... Yeah, I'll put this bad boy out. I'll put it next to the dock here, kind of. Maybe place it, like, right here. There we go. Cool. Don't crash into the dock. My goodness gracious. Fish market. Sell a bunch of stuff. Thank you, thank you. Um, let me take a look at research right now. So, I'm pretty comfortable with what we have here. This would actually be pretty sick, too. But we need five of them. Actually, this would be pretty good, too, as well. Abyssal, well, uh, maybe. 
Maybe it would actually, yeah, it would. If we can get Oceanic involved, that's the that's the key here. Angro shallow, volcanic, this, that, that, and this. Yeah. Seeing dolphins is good luck. I hope so. Be like, hey, dolphin, good luck for me, yeah. I wonder if we can find another. Probably we can find another piece. I would assume, yeah. Got tier four upgrade and everything is gone from the boat rods, nets, and all stuff in the cargo and the dredge all gone. I can't get any more lumber or relics, anything. So think before doing the last tier. Okay. So doing the last tier. So you're telling me this tier, the tier four, yeah? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and rest. I woke up at 4 a.m. Um, getting over it with the mind and body we'll look into. Yeah, let's do that now. All right, so we're going to dive into the, the swamp here. This is going to be terrifying. Okay, we're going to zap it, right? We're going to zap it. It's going to get hit with this banish. I feel like this is still a little bit too dark for my liking. This is a little too dark for my liking. Still get... There's still a little bit of... Oi, oi, oi. Paranoia happening. What the heck? All right, here we go. Here we go. Okay, that thing, there it is. Yeah. That, that, I don't like that. I will go away from that. I go away from it. It goes away from me. No, 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 no. I know I can hit the banish. I'm not hitting it yet. I'm not hitting it yet. You gotta be, you gotta, you gotta use it when you're ready to use it. I'm not ready to use it. What the heck is this? I don't know, but I'm, I'm here. It's a campsite. A large man is watching you through the billowing smoke of a campfire idly uh, carving away at a wooden stake he stands as you pull ashore stranger from that look on your face i'd say you've encountered the local wretches take a seat you join them by the fire i've been trying to get i've been trying to rid them for this accursed jungle over since we wrecked here the boys called them the mind suckers on account of them well affecting the mind they made us see things do things I'd ask you for safe passage away from here, but not until after I have avenged my squadron. Well, what happened to them? A number of us went down in the fog, crashing into trees or ditching into the water. Uh, those that survived rallied here under the bows of this giant tree. It offered us scant protection before help could arrive. Our numbers quickly dwindled, picked off by the friends or fiends in the forest. I met. A few would be rescuers over the years, but no one would help me in my fight. Are you any different to the rest? Well, yes, I can I can help, yeah. <laughs> I figured you'd be up for it. You, uh, you have the look. Listen up. First, we need to find the lost pieces of my squadron's mortar. Uh, we'll then use that to bombard the beasts. Other planes went down to the north and east where we are now. I'll mark the possible crash sites on your ma map. You go to see what you can salvage. What am I supposed to be doing? How will you honor your squad mates? Interesting. Hmm. You need to find the lost pieces of the squadron's mortar. I've marked some locations to search on your map. Let me know how you get on. Okay. How will you honor your squad mates? I've hung a few of their dog tags up on the trees behind me. It seemed fitting enough, but I've only got tags for the ones I... You must understand. I never found all their bodies. If you happen to find any of their dog tags, I can add them to the tree with their brothers. I have a num number of mechanical doodads that you might find useful here. Uh, take this one. In good faith, I'll give you uh, more for each tag you bring me. Okay, well, instead of selling the tag, you probably would have uh, been better off giving him the tag and then getting the research part there. Um, is there any shipwrecks around here? Shipwrecks? No. Anything that meets its end here is quickly swallowed by the still. Interesting. Tell me about the mind suckers. 
devilish creatures through and through. They'll stalk you along the waterways and emerge suddenly, screeching this terrible song. The first time it happened to me, I saw shadows of my squad mates reaching out to me in a feverish dream. When I finally snapped out of it, I was covered in bloody scratches. They must have sent me running through the foliage. Since then, I've done my best to avoid their, fre their fiends. Their senses seem to be based on movement, so move carefully. Why are we here? Like, can't we just, like, I don't know, take a boat and just drive and drive and drive and drive and drive until never, like, and never come back again? Like, why are we hanging around here? That's my question. Honestly. Yeah. Hey, Tina, Tina Lynn, thank you for subscribing, and thank you, Geneva Osborne, for subscribing as well. And hello, Kyla. How you doing, Kyla? Good to see you. I hope you're doing well also. Okay, well, he's marked some maps, or marked some stuff on the maps, I see now, right? He has done that. Okay. Does pressing the map pause time? I think, I can't remember. Probably. So we want to go out and to the right, I believe. Uh, excuse me. This is kind of rude. There's a message in a bottle. We don't have any explosives on us. Frick. Anything shiny, I will, like, look into, yeah? It's kind of pointless to look into that now, isn't it? Okay, to the right. Plus, I will pick up new fish as well. And hopefully I don't get zapped by this freaking thing. Tarpon. I hear it. I actually hear it. I think I hear it. I don't hear it. I heard waves crashing. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, this is the right way, correct? This is not the right way. Okay, this is the right way. This is the way? This is the way. Wonderful. Oh, dude, this swamp area sucks. <laughs> it does. Oh, look at this thing. A gar. This place is spooky, man. In this way. Through the mangled trees. Right there. There it is. Found it. Shapes in the deep. What the heck is that, dude? Mortar frame. Okay, so that's the mortar frame. Okay, so we got the mortar frame. Hey, Care Bear. How you doing, Care Bear? Might as well pick that up while I'm waiting. <laughs> okay, so we got that. Uh, let's bring that back if we can. Oh, the dark time. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, message in a bottle? Perfect. Tattered receipt. Goldsmith and Son, number 27, Little Morrow, December 22nd, 1926. That's your boy's birthday, minus the 1926. Received the sum of $50 and zero cents in exchange for one silver necklace with emeralds on silver mounting. Additional notes received a further $3 for custom engraving on reverse of mounting. Customer to return to tomorrow, December 23rd. That's my wedding anniversary. For collection, engraving is to be as follow. For J, my shining star. Interesting. This is like a catfish? That is exactly a catfish. I'm not messing around with more stuff. I know I could get like the, uh, the mutated version, but I need to get back to the guy because it is dark. 
and I ain't about this life. To the left, to the left, to the left, everything you own in the box to the left. Go, 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 is this the right way? Who knows? Yep, it is. Perfect. Nice. All right. Airman. How are things? Well, I found parts of the mortar. You found one component, but it's still missing a piece. Nearly there. Keep looking. Well, can I at least give it to you? You freaking nut. All right. Let me rest then. Have a good one, Lady Fluffy Dragon. Do take care. Have a good rest of your evening. Yeah. Did anything exciting happen when I was gone? Chris Flores, I'm going to just say this. It's 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 a it's a 3-hour stream. You probably missed something, yes. Uh, nobody's going to tell you exactly what was exciting that you missed cuz there's a lot of exciting things happening in 3 hours. So, you just got to watch, man. You just got to watch. You know, the, the replay is always here. You can always watch the VOD whenever you're, uh, whenever the live is over, too. So, yeah. Have a good one, Wolf Over. Do take care. Do take care. Thanks for hanging out with us as well. Yeah. Ooh, baby. Here it is. That thing's chasing me. What have I done? What the heck? Well, that's kind of rude. There we go. I hear noises. I hate it all. Oh, yo, yo. Okay, go back, go back. Okay. We got it all. So, I don't know, does that thing like attack you? It does seem like it puts barriers up. Kind of strange. Every time I come back here, I have to go under that. Just so you know. All right, airman, we got it. That's the lot. Now, while I work on assembling the mortar, you can also get started on the next phase of the plan. You may have noticed some contraptions in the lagoons around here. I've assembled those traps for the mine suckers. We just need to lure them in there. Uh, once they're in, you see, I can fire on them with our new mortar, and that will be the end of them. No more nightmares. I'll mark the locations of the traps on your map. Got it? Okay. So how do we get the mine suckers into the traps? They're attracted to some some very specific type of bait. Your skills will come in handy here yet again. Have you got everything? I don't what this what do you mean some kind of bait? Is it safe? Of course not. Have you got anything? <laughs> um How do you make the traps? With patience. The creatures only seem to sense movement. So whenever one uh, was closed, I froze. Ah very well. We need to make three special baits from different combinations of fish. Okay, let's see the first one. This one takes three fish from the area to make. Okay. I don't have all the fish for that bait yet. Come back when you've got the rest. Okay. What about the second one? Don't have that yet. That's fine. We have some at least. What the hell? Okay, we don't have that one. Okay. So we kind of got a little bit, of, little bit of it, yeah. All right, so let's. Let, we got to make the bait. So we got to go fishing now. We got to do our job. Ah. Those must be the. Oh wait, no, that's not the traps. I saw another message in the bottle over here. A bottle in the message. Message in a bottle. Bottle. Yeah, message in a bottle. That's what we need. We desperately need that. I think we need like three of those, four of those, right? The gray mullets. There we go. Let's get three. Yeah, 
that should be good. And then as far as the eels go, there's a part of me that thinks the eels are going to be at night time. Because usually aren't eels like activity is during the night time, I think, right? Put me in. Slide it in. Let's go bait. Let's see. One right there. One right there. <laughs> that should do it. I'll just mix these in. Here, load this into a tramp, then get well clear from it. When the trap springs, I'll fire upon it with the mortar. Make sure you bring back proof that the thing's really dead. You hear me? Ay, ay, ay. Did you want to know anything about that? Uh, give me the second one. Second one, going in. Okay. Thank you. And then we're going to get eels. Where do I put the bait? In one of the traps I've constructed in the lagoons, they're marked on your map. Did you want to know anything else? No, that's pretty much that. Thank you, sir. All right. This, this thing is kind of cool. This mission is kind of cool. I like this. Okay, so there's one straight out here. Let's do that. Let's go straight out here. Right there, right? Oh, these these freaking things. That's what the baits are. Ah, I see. Blow the trap with bait. You should probably move away. Probably. Oh, no! Come on! Yeah, 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 yeah! How you like me now? Uh, well, that's exactly how you get it done. Very good. Good job. Inside the obliterated corpse of a mind sucker, the airman will be expecting proof of your success. Of my success? I didn't do anything. The rest of the carcass sinks out of sight. Right. I didn't do a thing. <laughs> I just sat there, dude. Right. Oh, that worked out. That's pretty cool, no? You think this is where the eel is? Ah, oh, you little devil, it is. All right, we need two of these guys. We need two of these guys. Put that there. Put that there. L shape. Right there. Nice. Well, that was convenient. All right, uh, Mr. Airman, how are things going? Well, I have a creature corpse to show you. Let's see it then. You hand the tattered lump of flesh to the airman. It's almost unrecognizable, but you both know it couldn't have belonged to anything else. He pokes at it with his knife, testing the rubbery meat. He seems satisfied. Yes, this is one of the beasts. Progress at last. More to go, though. Hmm. Um. Okay, that's. Let's talk about. Yeah, let's talk about the bait. We want to do the third one now. There we go. There we are. There we go. That should do it. I'll just mix these in. Here, load this into a trap, then get well uh, clear from it. Got it. Take that, take that. Thank you. Can we actually uh, do storage here? We can. Nice. Put that in storage. That in storage. I don't know what we're going to do with these other fish. But we'll hold on to them for now. Oh, wait. That in storage. Uh, we'll rest. Then we'll go set up the other baits. Yep. Woo! <sighs> This has been a freaking day. I kind of like this area. I like this area a lot more than the um, the coral area. Area, you know. Okay, so the, let's see. If I had explosives, that would be super convenient right now. Let's go this way. Message in a bottle. Question mark, question mark, question mark. That's exactly what goes on in my head constantly. 
It feels like years since I have been warm. I did not expect him to write. I just need to know that he thinks of me from time to time. The next few lines have been smudged out. He must return. More angry smudging follows. I have written him another letter. This will be the last one. Crap the mind suckers. I'm gonna crap you. You and your freaking mind sucker. Watch out for the mushrooms, I'm assuming. Yeah, they bounce. <laughs> They balance you and okay, this direction there we go looks good to me partner inspect all right bait there we go and again it's like some alien stuff dude like some alien like some like i don't know like like some uh, Cloverfield action. Who freaking knows? Crazy stuff, though. Yeah, get wrecked. There we go. Take it. Okay. Okay, now the next one, which is clear across the way. Let's go for that one. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I can't go that way because I need to use a bomb. All right, yeah, go this way. I thought I could find a shortcut, but let it be known I cannot. Continue. This way. To this way, that way, this way. Okay. I really, I really need to bring the dynamite up. What the hell is that sound? Okay, wait a sec, wait a sec. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on a sec. Time out, time out, time out, time out. This is the outside. Okay, I can come around this side, yeah? The back side of water. Yep, there we go. Now, there's a plane here. Dog tags, yeah? The fuselage of an old fighter plane sits amidst a mass of broken wings and wheels. Oh my goodness. Fancy boot. I'm confused. Did they have these kind of planes back in the night? Wait a sec, I guess we're not in the 1920s, huh? Never mind. Disregard what I was gonna say. What is this? Cloth? I feel like we need this. I always, I'm thinking that we're way back in way back, but we're not. We're just reading messages from way back to way back. There we go. Whew. Yeah. Yeah, you have a good night as well, Chris. Do take care. What do you mean? It's cute? It's not cute. You think that's cute? How dare you? Okay, it's getting dark. Come on, come on, come on. This is a bad idea. Is it a bad idea? This is a terrible idea. We're doing this in the nighttime now. Oh my lord, the noises at night. Oh my goodness. Load it with bait and get the hell away. It's in my... Yeah, yeah, it was almost inside of me right there. Did you see that? Now, it's weird because, like, time doesn't move when you're not moving. But other things moving in the world, time stays still still. That makes sense? <laughs> All right, my lord. Give me that. Okay. Now I gotta find my way back to that guy without getting lost in the sauce. Okay, to the right. 
and whatever weird sounds and things and makes and I'm not about it. Just know I'm not about it. Not about it. I damn me. Damn me, damn me, damn me. Oh my lord. Disgusting noises, disgusting creatures. They just want to be loved, I think, right? No! They want to do the effing, not receive it. My god. Go. We just got to haul ass. That's basically all we have to do right now. There we go. Perfect. How are things going? Dude, I got everything. Let's see it then. You drop the flesh on the ground and he gives it a few slashes with the knife. It wobbles a little. Another one taken care of. One remains. By my count, let's finish this. Nah, dude, I have more. Yeah. You drop the large bloodied carcass in front of the airman. He, his eyes filled with sadistic delight. He bends down and plunges his knife into the soft flesh. It falls way before the blade, revealing a giant, a glint, sorry, a glint of metal. With a sickening tear, he rests it from where it was embedded in the flesh of the creature. He holds it aloft. You recognize it as a necklace, glistening its glory. Oh, fisherman, some fortune at last. This thought to fetch. This ought to fetch a decent price from the right collector. Hell yeah, it does. That's exactly what I'm looking for. He stands back from the corpse. A melan a melancholic, mel melancholic, melancholic. Look comes over his face, and now, well, that's that's that, I guess, I suppose. Uh, what will you do now? I can't say for sure. I thought I'd be asking you for an escort away from this place, but this has become somewhat of a home to me. Oh yeah, you're just gonna just be here. You're gonna take this as your home, right? Uh, it doesn't feel right to leave my brothers here. I think I shall stay a while longer. In the meantime, I can make up some special bait for you. It ought to help you with your fishing. I found some dog tags, though. There, there you go. Mm. I, well, thank you. I'll hang them on the tree here as a, as I promised. Oh, thank you for that, though. Hmm. Um, can you make some bait for me? Here, this is what's left over from the other bait we made. Now, what would I need this for, I wonder? Can be used to attract all manner of nearby species. Ah. Now I know. The ability unlocked. Bait. Toss bait overboard to attract local species. Ah, right now. We can make some fresh stuff if you like. That's cool. Uh, if you need some fish for your first, or fish from you first, any type will do. But the more you give me, the more bait I can make. Can I give you rotten stuff? <laughs> cool. All right. That's pretty cool. I like it. Well, I don't have any fish for you, my good man. I'm sorry. Nice. That's a nice little thing. Let's rest. Imagine if someone calls you disgusting and nasty. Yo, come on. I'm on the internet. You're telling me that's never happened? <laughs> is there the Kraken on Dredge? Are you asking? I was wondering, is there the Kraken? Uh, is there the Kraken in the game? Is that what you're asking? All right. So now that we have that taken care of, let's go ahead and manifest back to the collector so that we can tell the collector, hey, yo, I got your necklace, buddy. Give me another ability. There we go. You enter the house carrying the ornate necklace. The collector recognizes it almost immediately. An excellent find. It demands pride of place in my collection. He sweeps aside some scraps on a dusty table, candle wax pooling in its corner. Corners. He places the necklace carefully in the clearing. And I suppose you'll be demanding recompense oh, as well. Uh, right. Oh, once more, he opens the book, dust pouring from the pages as he reads aloud, and you begin to feel weak, but you're rooted to this spot. He's on the verge of buckling. A trophy. Instantly you harvest an entire sh shoal of fish. As he finishes speaking, you feel blood rushing back to your legs. A strange feeling of power goes in your chest. We're so close. One more remains. I love to suggest it, uh, but the abyssal plane on the approach to Devil's Spine is a likely candidate. See what you can find. I'll mark the location. Anything else? Uh, what the heck did you just give me?
The words you read from that book, what do they do to me? Let's see. A trophy. This phrase instantly calls the closest shoal of fish, readying them for swift reaping. It can be heard from a great distance, so you need so you need not to be close to your victims. Oh, okay. But the population is unlikely to recover from such a vile trauma. Use it sparingly. Ah. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Are there other powers you wish? I don't know. How do you know where these... Are you human? Your inquiry is met with a piercing gaze. Hmm. Why, of course, as human as you are. Anything else? Well, I guess not. Take a look at these trinkets. Uh, do not bother me with common clutter. All right. Fine, dude. You don't need to be that way. Don't need to be that way. So now we have the trophy. We have everything now. Nice. So now we got to go to the devil's spine. And see what the hap is. <clears throat> I'm gonna get like sideswiped here, my lord. Get that, get that. I, I don't want. I, I want that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, let's look over here for this. We'll look at potential upgrades and things like that. First, get some of this stuff, shall we? Are we human or are we dancers? Wait, what? <laughs> are we human or are we dancers? Is that what I just read? Uh, 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 uh. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Rod spaces or cargo? I'm thinking. I mean, even like. It's tough. It really is tough. We'll place that there for now. I think I like the rod spaces for now. The net, I'm not really keen on. Let's go this route. We'll leave that as it is. That water spout had places to be. All right, here we go. Let's start rolling over to the uh, devil's spine, I guess. That was actually pretty quick in the... Um, in the uh, twisted strand, like we haven't even like we looked at our um, our crab pot we left there. Are you hu human? No, we are dancers. Are you human? No, we are dancers. We haven't gone through here completely yet. Oh, that's a song. Oh, I did not know that. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. I will get this. Oh, man. Just the trinket stuff. Nothing to... What? The, really? Really? Oh, it's a silver plate. Really? All right, there it is. There's the devil's spine, apparently. Excuse you. I wonder where our next totem will be. We've done all the totems, haven't we? I think we've done all the totems. That we've at least, not all of them in the game, let me mind you. All the ones that we uh, have at, le at least came across, yeah? Let's go there. It's gonna be crazy, isn't it? Is there, is there at least a dock here? There's no dock here. Okay, let's go to the dock first. It's a song by the killers. Who are the killers? Go, go, go. 
turn my light off. Just turn my light off. I deserve it. Just turn my light off. <clears throat> can I shut up other channels in the chat? Uh, no, but I can at least shut you up. So let me just hide you. Go away. <laughs> there. Sorry. Continue. Oh, it's vol it's a volcano, huh? Yeah, yeah, volcanic, duh. I did say who are the killers. Yes, I did. I don't know who the killers are. I think I might have disappointed a lot of people. Possibly have. I'll take the L. And I'm sorry. They're an awesome band. You must listen to them. Are we talking like present or is this like in a different decade? Having a variety of fishing tackle on board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I, I didn't mean to buy that, but now I have it. I will buy this though. Research. Five. Harvesting platform will do coastal, shallow, and oceanic. Wait a sec. So this one does abyssal and he uh, Hadal. Hadal Hadal. So Abyssal Hadal. If I were to replace that one. Abyssal Hadal. I would need that one. The Fathom Winch, which would give us Oceanic. That's what I'm talking about, baby. And then I need to I don't know, I don't probably I probably can't buy it. I'm assuming. Six 75 yeah i can't buy it so then this will take over this and then we would be able to get every single fish Six fifty. okay yeah yeah we can't get it quite yet but we will be able to okay let's rest The rock band formed in 2001? Oh, I did not know that. They were big in 2000 to 2010? I'll have to ask Danielle if she knows them. She used to be big in bands back then. I remember when I first played Subnautica, I steered my sea moth right into a Reaper class Leviathan path, and they are not friendliest of creatures. <laughs> I just heard an eagle? Or a bird? I see a message in a bottle? I see a terrible, terrible thing underwater as well. What is that? It's like spinning in circles, dude. Oh, this place sucks. Maybe that's fish. Question mark, question... What are you doing? Get out of me! Okay. My darling, I have found you at last. When you left, I was scattered to the winds, but now I feel almost whole again. There's just one thing left to do. Throw me back. What is this thing? Like heat. Okay, first of all, let's grab some fish. Let's see if we can... Potentially armored sea robin. Um, potentially really ossified. Okay. Potentially get some money here. There we 
go. go. Getting over it with my body. Okay, so we got something here. There's still more in here. Might have to do some Tetris stuff here. Uh, of course, I effed it all up now, didn't I? There we go. Uh, and then slide that in right there. Perfect. By the way, thanks for subscribing, Zil Sylvia? Sylvia? Thanks for subscribing, Sylvia. Sylvia. Just here to sell a bunch of fish, if you don't mind. 581. I think we were sitting at 8 something, I believe. Or was it 6 something? Hmm. 675. If I sell this, I'll be able to do it, right? 150? Yes. So let's. I hate to sell it because it's something that we got from a totem, but really we're not going to need it anymore, I don't think. So we're going to sell it. And we can always buy it back, I guess. But this is what we want. This bad boy. Nice. So now we can catch every single thing possible. Possible. Yeah. I like it. I'm about it. Razbear says, headed back to the start. Just thought I would say hi. How you doing, Razbear? Good to see you. Good to see you. There's a lot. Yeah, we've done a lot today. For sure. Okay. Now, a totem. Now, wait a sec. Before I even mess around with that, I want to go to the other island. I want to go to this over here. Okay. What I want to do is I want to rest, then go to that island. Now let's go. Oh, there is a dock here. What the heck is that? A snake mackerel, dude! Yeah! Wait, it doesn't matter, huh? Because the guy is probably dead. Right? Because that was, was that for the blue robe guy? Frick. Right? That was for the blue robe guy. Yeah, it was for the figure in blue. Well, he's going to be dead then. So you really don't want to mess with those figures until like the end of the game, I guess? Interesting. I mean, you don't have to. Interesting. All right, well, that's that. If the gold guy is dead, the blue guy is dead. You undock next to the old rowboat. Somebody is here. He's hunched over by the campfire, muttering uh, to himself. You cautiously approach. Did you, did you throw it back? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. The book. I think you've mistaken me for someone else. I'm not seeing things. It's really you, isn't it? Are you okay? He turns away, uh, wringing his hands. He speaks to the fire. It was him, him and his damned wife. They dredged up that old book, but something, something cloaked in fog and followed it out right through the boat and boom. The man makes a crude explosion noise and motions wide with his hands, still talking to the fire as though a uh, pandemonium, pandemonium? A story to pantomone pan I've never seen that word in my entire life. A story as a child. It spoke. It said it was coming from our breath. That we wouldn't be needing it soon. And then darkness crashed. An age later, some of us washed up on the shore. And him, still clutching that book. Throw it back. We, we cried as the fog rolled ashore. We thought, surely, it can still be undone. But what book? What, what, are you, what are you talking about? Silver and crimson, the book covered in her blood. You're not making any sense. 
throw it back. The man closes his eyes, tight as he holds back tears. His voice falls to a whisper. Please, the lighthouse keeper. She saw, she knows where it came from, where it where where it needs to go. Oh. Tell me more about this book. Silver and Crimson. Silver and Crimson. He rocks back and forth, uh, staring through the flames. What do you know about the fog? It cloaks that calamitous thing. It's evil. Haven't you felt it? I have not felt it in a while. Um, <laughs> what does the lighthouse keeper have to do with this? She saw it all. That ruinous day. Ask her. Beg her. Tell her. I... He trails off, his face collapsing in sorrow. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. 10.37 a.m. Interesting. The ruins in the water, I believe there is a totem there. Is that right? Okay. Thanks for subscribing, James Brown. Appreciate the subscription there, James. Red Trinket guy has the book? Yeah, the collector guy, right? That's the Red and Crimson book they're talking about, maybe. Possibly. Crimson and Clover over and over. Dublin. 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 Sorry, I keep calling it something else. It's Dublin. What the heck? Oh, yeah, we got this already. Thank you. I'm going to go back to that dock. I guess I'm going to go tomorrow. Little Morrow. Talk to the lighthouse keeper. And all that good stuff. And really be very disappointed with myself that I wasn't able to get the blue robe or yellow robe guy. Back to the dock. Oh, lightning. Lightning strikes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Traffic pass by. Oh my god. I didn't know this was a freaking intersection. Hey. Lord, help me. That creeped me the hell out. Oh, that gives me the shakes, man. That is. No, no, no. I ain't about that life. Hey, Lulu Pie. How you doing, Lulu Pie? That was a beast. That was an absolute beast. That was huge. Well, that was... That's possibly, that's what she said, kind of joke in there but yeah that was massive dude i was expecting it to eat you i know i thought i was done i thought it was done for i i just sat there if i'm gonna die i'm just gonna sit there and take it basically is what's gonna happen ridiculous absolutely ridiculous I'd be selling my boat. Yeah, dude, I'd be like, I, I'm telling you, I would stock up on fish, head west, and not turn back. Okay? I would just keep going west until I ran into Cuba or something. I don't care at this point. What is it? What do you know about the Silver and Crimson book? She shudders at the very mention of the book. You're really asking me? After all this time? You know I must be returned. She looks at you with deep pity. You have to move on, for her sake as well as yours. Take control. Be rid of that thing once and for all. 
Okay. Right. Well, let's go back to the Devil's Spine and uh, lose our freaking lunch. Ah. <sighs> Hey, Artidas, 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 how you doing? Yeah, I'm really enjoying this game. This game's really cool. Yeah, it's a pretty cool game. I, I do, I like it. You love playing it? It's creepy as hell, though. It's pretty fun, right? It's pretty fun. I think it makes you just want to keep, like, exploring. The, the, good, the game is very good at, like, wanting you to keep exploring, you know? Keep exploring, keep exploring, keep exploring. You know? Like, oh, what's next? What's next? What are we gonna see? What other kind of crazy things are out there, right? I'm gonna have to get this game, but I might be too scared to play it. If you're gonna play it, at least have YouTube on in the background or something. You gotta have so Oi! That's a beauty. There you go. Love to see that. Yeah, you gotta have something going. Yeah, I think the creepiness makes it unique. I agree. I think it's, you know, Moonglow Bay, like I told, like I've been referencing Moonglow Bay so much with this game, right? Moonglow Bay was exactly what it was, though. It was sweet. It was cuddly. You know, it was emotionally story driven. Uh, you know, but it wasn't something crazy like weird stuff going on like this. Thank you. Wait, is this where the X is? Am I at the X? I am at the X. Okay. Let me just grab this stuff real quick. Very close. Keep exploring until everyone's dead. Yeah, you keep exploring until you, like, have a cardiac arrest or something. Like, it's kind of insane. I mean, you could say... You could probably say this game has a little bit of jump scare in it. Right? I don't know, dude. The, the boat thing kind of freaks me out, too. The boat shadow thing. Oh, yeah. We didn't get to see what the other thing, right? What was it that we learned? We learned, um... Getting over it. So 15% resilience to panic. So that's the new thing that we got recently. Let's do this. I did play this game briefly in the first stream that we did. I did play it briefly with a controller. Personally, I kind of like it better with a keyboard and mouse. And I'm typically a controller guy. Knock it up. A man meets you as, as you dock, bracing himself against the wind in spray. Uh, excuse me, what spray? Zero uh, Raptorus Day, a fresh decibel, 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 carried to me atop the waves. There's a little bit of a glitch in the system there. Come ashore, weak thing, as you rest your very soul. I'm just passing through. Nonsense. Your arrival is providence from the deep itself. I've been calling, and now you are the answer. The rites of purification is almost at hand. You are able to be my replacement. I'm listening. Your trial begins immediately. Tell me, what does your spirit seek? Happiness. Ah, merely an excuse to halt the search for something greater. Happiness is, by definition, a compromise. And your flesh, what does it crave? It's a good question. The warmth of sun, the sting of salt, the chill of water. Hit me with the sun. And yet it eludes you. Darkness is cast over the rest of your days. Finally, what does the world deserve? Everything. In a way, it deserves all that is washed ashore, freely given from the deep, but no more than that. The trial is concluded. You still have much to learn, but that knowledge will be delivered to you in no time. 
Now, your role as my initiate is to act as an herald of the purge, just as I was for the one before me. The nearby spies blaze with eternal fire, yet the stone earths of these three idols lie barren and void. Retrieve three fathomless flames from the crags behind us and ignite the crucibles. How the frick am I going to do that? Visit the shrines of the deep. I will mark them. They will offer further guidance, and I must provide no more. Stone columns? Fanatic? Statues? Which statue do you want to look at? I don't know. None of them? Fanatic. What is it? I'm looking for sunken relics. Are there any shipwrecks around here? Relics, you say? Well, perhaps. One such as this. He pulls an antique pocket watch from inside his robe. Droplets of sea spray crackle and seethe in the air around it. You are drawn to it, too. I see it. Or I see. It found me during my right of pro proving as I scavenged for uh, creatures of power. It sapped at my spirit when I first recovered it. But I came to appreciate its strange nourishment with time. As will you. When the ritual is prepared, it will be yours to carry forth. Anything else? That scroll you're holding. I found it. At the end of my other life, it washed ashore, as all great gifts do. Are you one of the guys in the robe? It took some time for me to decipher the ruins. It speaks of an inc incomprehensible door. And those wretched, twisted fish that swam through, their flesh is the closest thing to a key. What am I supposed to be doing? You are to prepare the ritual. You must light the stone crucibles around the temple with three fathomless flames. You will receive further illumination at the three shrines of the deep. They are scattered about not far from here. Anything else? I, you know, are there others that share your beliefs? <laughs> there are pretenders, fa failures that make a mockery of the deep. I tried correcting their ways, but I soon saw that they had the lost path. I left them to their ceaseless hunger. Anything else? No, that's, that's pretty much it, I guess. Holy crap, that's all I gotta say. Storage. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Nice. I, I agree. This game has like a murder mystery vibe to it, right? Yeah. A little bit of jump scares. You shat your pants three times on this stream. You're right. You're right. You're right on that. <laughs> I would love to see a well-made, realistic commercial fishing game. Never will, though. Too niche, I think. Have you ever seen the Alaskan fishing simulator game? I think that's what it's called, right? The Alaskan Fishing Simulator, where you're on the... On the, uh... It's on Steam, I believe. Have you ever seen that one, yeah? Thanks for subscribing. Yeah, thanks for subscribing. Zonra? Zonurb? Zonurb or Onrub? Thanks for subscribing. Okay. Here we go! Let's go out and see what we can do. So he has the maps marked. This is terrifying. Now I see a few things. There's a dock there and a dock there. Let's go to the far left first. Let's go to the far left first. There's a message in a bottle. Perfect. It's uh, 1st of June in 1927. Yesterday was the reading of his mother's will. Most of the remaining estate went directly to him, of course. But to my surprise, she bequeathed that... I don't think that's how you say that. Bequeathed... Me her pocket watch. <laughs> Curious. I am not fond of the thing, but I know that I... <laughs> taking it will mean a lot to him. I could not help but feel it is some <laughs> veal jab at me from beyond the grave. She was the type to do such thing. Was I late on some occasion? I cannot recall. Neither can I. Oi. Uh, how do you put up with me? I really don't know. I really don't know. Continue. Woo! I said it correctly. Bequeath? That... That is a weird word. There's all these, these stones are all everywhere. Oh, there's the thing thing. Do hickey though. Hey, check it out. 
Right, this is it. X marks the spot, baby. Cave Ancient Lighthouse. I mean, obviously, you gotta go in the cave first. In the dim light of the cave, you can make out some paintings on both walls. Check the left one. These paintings depict the birth of civilization. A great beacon of light is shown repelling a tentacle figure emerging from the sea. In the dim light of the cave, you can make out some paintings on both walls. Check the right one. These paintings depict the fall of civilization. A volcanic eruption tears through a tall lighthouse. Monstrous shapes devour people as buildings turn to ruin. Hmm. Interesting. Well, let's go up to the lighthouse. Holy crap, dude. That's pretty cool. You climb the many steps leading up to the ancient light, ancient lighthouse. At its base is a solid stone door. You can't see a handle, but there's a large socket carved into the face of the door. Ah, is that a map? Is that a map, maybe? Some sort of paper. The door remains shut. Right. We must probably find this this thing or something, rather. I don't know if it's a map or if it's just a paper. Uh, l hang on a sec. Let's do, uh... No, no, no. Let's not manifest. Jesus Christ. Uh, let's do this. Now, there's those freaking piranha thingamabobbers there. Now, I do have dynamite on me. Is this worth the dynamite? Well, might as well use it. I don't think this is exactly what I'm looking for. No. It, that that felt kind of wasteful, if, you, if I'm going to be honest. <laughs> okay, let's go this way, I guess. We go under? I'm assuming maybe... Oh, lord. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You are little disgusting little creatures. How much dynamite are we going to need over here, I wonder? We're probably going to need a lot. I'm going to check everything, I guess. Dude, that thing is so loud. Fast, fast. What is that? Emerald earrings. Is this going to be a place where I'm going to need just massive amounts of dynamite? Because now I wish I had dynamite for that. Whatever that might be. Who knows? No, you bastards. Onwards. On with yourself. I guess we haven't quite really searched at all. Right? We haven't been around every little piece here. It is getting dark. And that really sucks. However, there should be... Well, actually, there's a dock right next to us. Let's just go to the dock right next to us and sleep. I wonder if I could talk to that gentleman and be like, Hey, the uh, the thing needs a, needs a key, my good man. Let's do this instead. Okay. Let's uh wait a sec. What is that? Oh wait, no, we don't know what that is. Um well, yeah, let's go back to the guy and just see if he says anything about a key to a lighthouse. I doubt it, but at least we'll get an answer for it. My lord. This place is, I mean, it's cool over here. I do have to say, it is pretty cool, but my, my gosh. It is a lot to take in. Okay. Um, my man, you don't say anything about that. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, the music is kind of getting it, right? Okay, let's let's continue then. Uh, let's go to the other X's then. Let's go to the X over here. 
Maybe you're supposed to start over here. Who knows? Let's go over here. Maybe there's some like working order. Wonder if I can actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wonder if I can actually buy some more dynamite too. Let's see. Or some bombs. I forgot what they call them in this game. Don't, don't, just go away. Thank you. Oh. You selling? You are selling. You selling a bunch of things. Give me that, please. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, let's see here. Squeeze in there. Grab whatever the heck this could be. I mean, these, these like things could be anything. Could be the passage of, or the key that we're looking for the lighthouse. It's definitely not it, but that's all right. Oh, oh, there is that shrine. Yeah, there is that the shrine. Yeah, what is that? What the frick? What is that? A stone shrine. Upright slam bears a carving. Two heavily plated creatures. Um, locked in battle. A lower slab holds two shallow grooves. Okay, so obviously those are like disgusting crabs. Now I kind of wish I had my crab thing back. We're not too far away from it. I might go back and grab it. Let's go back and grab it, yeah. Let's take it back. We'll go back and grab it. Hopefully that will be the, the, the answer to everything. I'll have to see, though. Now, I can't just, like, teleport over there, unfortunately. We might be traveling in the dark. We will be traveling in the dark. I feel like we're at the point of the game, though, where I feel like we could be resistant to resistant to quite a few things maybe just go straight I don't think we've been here either I think this is a new place for us what the heck's going on here what is this just don't have a rock pop up and smash me just don't have Dwayne Johnson come and just drop kick me here. You good? What in the world? Maybe I have been here. I don't remember. And all I all I know is I'm trying to go as fast as I can. Just go. Just go. Just go. Just, oh, I hate this. I hate this. Bad. 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 Lights off. <laughs> Okay, we're going to the swamps. We're gonna get our crab bucket. We're gonna hope that they will give a, get. No. 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 Go away. I don't need you. I don't need you right now. Taylor can't come to the phone right now. Because she's dead. No? Anybody? Okay. I didn't even touch my light. But thanks nonetheless. I was just chilling, dude. Holy crap. Giant mud and horseshoe crabs? Okay, let's sell all that stuff right away. That's none of the stuff we need. Obviously. Thank you. And see, we'll see if she also sells the explosives too. If she does, we'll have two sets of explosives. Pick. Pick up. And we'll repair this too as well. I smashed into that. Great. Fish market sell okay uh let's go ahead and repair this real quick mm. 
repair, and then explosives. Okay, so we have two explosives now. Sick. We'll rest. We'll head back to uh, Lava Land. All right. Nice. On our way. That's how you do it. Imagine if there were Somali pirates in this game, cans would have been nope out of there immediately. Yo, if it's a human figure. If it's a human figure, I'd be like, bring it. Since it's not a human figure, I'm like, don't bring it. The sexton does nothing. The sexton uh, is sold for scrap. Yeah, we're not drawing out any maps, I don't think, with the sexton. I have to start getting ready for the doctors within the next hour, but I don't want to miss the stream. Oh, dang it. Little Miss Teddy. Dang it. Now, where am I going to put this? It's a clear day, isn't it? It is a very clear day. Where am I going to put this crab pot? I'm going to put it somewhere near the, um, the dock and just hope it gets something. And then we'll use the couple of explosives that we have now. We might be able to buy another thing of explosives, too. She, I don't know if they restock every day or whatnot. I don't know how that all works. I just have to. This is the first volcanic fish we've ever caught. What was that? A frilled shark? Apparently it was a frilled shark. I'll take it. Just a routine checkup. Nothing major. That's good. That's good at least. Yeah. Hey, I almost didn't check up on that deck. How much are we selling that for? 122? Damn. Alright. We'll rest. We'll set it. I should not do that. Hang on a sec. What if I did this? Crab pot? Throw. Go here. Dock. Rest. Maybe we'll catch something while we're while we're sleeping and resting. Did that catch anything? Yeah, 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 yeah. That is actually terrifying. Spider crab? Hell to the no, dude. If you're not, a, if you're afraid of spiders and crabs, that's like your worst nightmare right there. Now we gotta get whatever the heck that thing is. All right, let's continue, shall we? We'll just mosey about here, yeah? Don't come near me. What is this? A pale skate. Ah, very well. That's one scary crab? Yeah, it is. Isn't it? No! Oh, there's the other. Oh, look at that. So I wonder if doing these two things are gonna like give us some sort of key. I wonder now. Let me pop this bad boy. For the uh for the light Jesus, for the lighthouse. Gotta go for this first. I'll take it. 
Ruby ring. Now, what do you want? We've had that, and that's that. So, yeah. You can have all that. I know exactly where that shark is. I just passed it, I think. It was, like, right over here. Yeah, it's, like, right there, I think. Come here, buddy. No, don't disappear. Thank you. Nice. Ghost shark. Oh, is that what it is? A ghost shark? Why is the music being weird? It sounds like a little bit of Jaws action working there. That's what they should have in this game. Some sort of giant Jaws or something. The rock splits with an almighty crack. It crumbles away, revealing its core. I approve. I approve, I approve, I approve. Okay. Let's go back to the dock now. See if we got another crab. Or a crab. Ah, frick. Let's see here. This way? This way. So like rain and acid. I guess this isn't nuclear. It's just volcanic. I can't see. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't want that. Give me something else, partner. Give me something else. sell that that's good to have those refined metals that we need to give to the guy right put those away rest there's two entrances to that part by the look of it you might not have to have to use the dynamite no yeah yeah I, I think that dynamite part there um was used for a safer route because the other route I think was uh, surrounded by the um, the uh, uh, like the piranhas I don't feel like I need to keep buying research points I mean how much is our research right now we're at three maybe we do engines would be like the next cool thing like if I could get jet drives going that'd be cool Okay, so let's take a look at our thing thing, doohickey. A volcano, a volcano snail, snail. Not exactly what I'm looking for. Let me take a look at this one thing again. It has to be a crab, yeah? It is a crab. So it has to be caught in a crab sense, in a crab manner. Manner. It's two different crabs, though. Okay, so we have... Okay, let's go to the a guy. Let's go to the guy. I guess we'll show him the spirit flame of some sort. The one at the bottom was better, <laughs> engine-wise. Don't hit this freaking dock, dude. Okay. Statues. Left? The statue holds a stone crucible. It's empty. 
A cold flame roars in the statue's hands. Which statue do you want to look at? The middle? The statue holds a stone crucible. It's empty. Okay, so we have to just put all that stuff in there, yeah? I guess so. Stone columns. The stone columns are the temple of the temple are carved with ancient pictures and texts. The swarm of small creatures. The crate the carving shows a swarm of small fish surrounding a boat. The ravenous children alone, they are nothing together. They summon her. Beneath these words, somebody has added a cruddy a crudely uh, scratch no do not let them grip you burn them away the stone columns of the temple are carved with ancient pictures and texts which carving do you want to see large eye eyeless beast i guess the carving is of a large fish with crossed out eyes the unseeing mother when the starving cannot eat she approaches beneath these words somebody has added a crudely scratch note Blind, but can hear her children avoid at all costs. The carving shows a bubbling underwater vent, the breath of salvation. It burns those that mean harm. Only the pure remain. Beneath these words, somebody has added a crudely scratch. Protection, follow the magma, find them. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Interesting. <clears throat> I feel like there's still more we need to kind of discover here, isn't there? Yeah, of course there's more that we still need to discover. What the heck is that? I don't like it. Go away. Shoo. Vanish. Now, wait a sec. This actually has a shape of what the lighthouse was, I think, possibly. Lighthouse key thing. A stone tablet. Is that it? That must be the lighthouse thing. Oh, freaking baby. Let's go to the lighthouse. I think we got lucky. That's what happened there. <laughs> I'm be real with you. I think we got real lucky. Whew. No, go away. Go away. Shoo. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Go away. I don't want to... I'm not your friend. I'm not your friend. Go. Get out of here. Go away. They're slowing my boat down so freaking much. I can't zap them either because there's a little bit of a cooldown. Right there. In the world is happening. Anyways. Fish are friends, not food. Take me up here. That is definitely not it. Interesting. I thought that would have been it for a sec. Maybe the traitor at Little Morrow knows something about this strange stone tablet. Frick. Okay. I wonder if it has to do with anything. Okay. All right. 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 So go to Little Morrow. Right. Go to Little Morrow. See what this strange glyph is all about. There's something in there that I want. Yeah, I, I, there's something glowing in there, therefore I want it. These little bastages, though. Do I put them under the steam? Is that what it is? Ah, they don't like the steam. Okay. All right. I like it. I understand now. Okay. Let's go here. Boom. Boom. Just like that. Got a sec. Let's uh, get you out of here. Okay.
Okay, here we go. Another shape. This is gonna be another, like another stone, stone thing. Another stone tablet. Ah, so I wonder if it makes like four pieces and then that's gonna be the thing for the, um, uh, for the, uh, for the lighthouse. I wonder. No. No. Oh, this is tough, because I don't know exactly where I'm heading. That's a loud noise. Oh, they're slowing me down. Can't stop me now. Hit me with the banish. There you go. There you go. Know where your place is in this world. Yeah. Oh, God. I don't even know where my place is. Oh, no. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Rest it up, rest it up. Rest it up. Rest it up, yeah. Okay. Did I get the thing I was looking for here? Spider crab and volcano snail. I still did not get the thing I was looking for. I wonder if I'm gonna have to put it in like in a different spot or something. Hang on, let me sell this stuff real quick. If you need four, there's one in the shed of the red trinket collectible guy. Ah, is there? That's a good shout. I'm gonna have to go back there and talk to with these people, huh? And be like, yo, what is what's happening? I want that. Yes. There we go. Engine slot there. Hold it up. Give me, give me, give me, give me one more time. Actually, no, never mind. Don't give me, give me, give me one more time. That's fine. <clears throat> Move, should I move the crab pot deeper yet? You think? Or even a regular net probably would be good too. We'll move this. We'll move it deeper, yeah? What the heck is that? Do I have that? I do. Okay, that's the ghost shark, I think. Let's put this bad boy like right here. Let me look around, though. See if there's any more scrap piles I can kind of rummage through, like this one, for an example. Probably not going to have no stone, but still. It's an opal ring. Oh, look at that right there. Something of significant. That looks like another one, yeah? That looks like another piece. So that's piece number three, right? Piece number three. That sucks. Now, I desperately want that. I don't know what it is, but I want it. And I'm for it. And I'm here. Coming through. Hello, and how are you? I want to catch you. Because you are massive. You are a... Oh, <laughs> that's what you are. <laughs> Very good. Well, that's a rare fish. But at least I know where to catch it now.
It's like a freaking maze, dude. Damn well like a maze. Okay. <clears throat> I forgot who this actually goes to. I forgot which person that was. I'll have to double check. Let's see. Who does it go to? The rare fish. She traveling merchant. Right? Wait a sec. Report this location to the traveling merchant. Okay. We will do that. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll rest. We should be fine. Should be fine. Yeah, should be fine. And then we will um, manifest. And then I'll talk to the... Um, I'll talk to a, a little bit of everybody. Yeah, I'll talk to a little bit of everybody. Oh. Um, sir. Let's talk. First things first, since I'm here. What is it? Tell me more about the book of yours. That book of yours. Which book? This one here? With a wry grin, he pulls a dusty tome uh, over uh, from the nearest shelf and glances at the cover. There's really not much to be said of histories of the Grey Isles. Quite a chore. Don't play dumb. You know which book I mean. Play dumb. Your hypocrisy is where is wearing. I suppose, suppose we must go through this uh, ring of moral yet again. The Book of the Deep appears in his hands, sheathed in its dirty crimson jacket. Hmm. Go ahead, ask us. Where did you get it? Sparkling dust notes hang in the air between you. Don't you remember? You were there. The air around the book begins to pulse rhythmi rhythmically. Rhythmically. My lord, that was a tough one. Uh, like a quickening heartbeat. So was she. Uh, so was who. You wanted to forget, begged me. The room bristles. This is what you asked for. Give me the book. Your words hang in the space between. You won't change a thing. The book is ours. Step closer. You take a step closer through the crackling room. The collector lurches forward in response. What can you possibly hope to achieve? Take the book. You strike out with your first with your right fist, punching hard into the jaw of the collector. His face shatters and falls to the ground. Oh my god. It's a mirror. What? <sighs> You're pathetic. The Book of the Deep is in your hands. Wait, what? Understand this plainly before you seek us into despair. I know how to bring her back. It's all right there on the pages. And you now, and now you've seen its power from fist hand. We wield the power to release her from her slumber. Find her last relic, and we can undo everything. Undo what you did. What? What is that? What is that? <laughs> have a good one, Nebraska Dawn. Do take care, and have a good rest of your day. I appreciate you hanging out with us. Absolutely. Thanks for hanging out with us. We can't do anything with the workshop. Okay. Uh, we should probably go talk to the uh, lighthouse lady, yeah? And then wait a sec. Who do we got to give the fish to? Um, the fish lady near Maro, near the cliffs. Traveling merchant. Uh, Maro, cliffs. The lady by Steel Point, yeah? Is a lady by Steel Point. I'll go here first. Just to make sure. Well, before I, like, so I don't waste a lot of time. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, lighthouse Keeper. What is it? I have the book. 
You've had it this whole time, have you not? It doesn't matter. Make the most of this window of lucidity. Now is the time to act. You still remember where it happened, in that gloomy darkness behind the bay. When you are ready, I'll point that way. I think I'm ready. Yeah. Have a good one, Kyla. Do take care. Thanks for hanging out with us, too, as well. You take care, Kyla. Warning. You are entering the final phase of the game. Your progress will not be saved from this point onwards. Do you wish to continue? Well... No? This is a weird question. So like everything else that's happening, like with that the devil's spine and everything, like is that all not even, it's just, it's just a little something something? This is interesting. I feel like there's more to do. Don't delay this any longer than is necessary. Return to me when you can. I will point the way. I mean, really, like... Let's see here. I mean, searching for the relics. Find the watch the watch in the devil's spine, right? Visit the traitor. Talk, take the tablet to the traitor. In Little Maro. Light the statues. Like, there's still that stuff to do, right? This is interesting. I wonder why. Wonder why. Wonder why. Wonder, wonder, wonder why. Very interesting. Indeed. Interesting. So we got to go to Ingfell. To the traveling merchant at Dusty Pontoon, I believe. So let's actually... Can we manifest again? It's a little bit of a cooldown. I hope that I can get there fast enough uh, with this fish. If not, it's, you know, I know where to fish it at least. There we go. Go here first. Mm. Ah, mm, hello. What can I do for you? Show him the stone tablet. The trader takes a stone tablet from you and inspects it closely, turning it over in his hands. Mm. Remarkable. Yes, I do believe this is a fragment of a larger arrangement. He reaches up to a high shelf and brings down a similar looking stone, albeit one covered with much more dust. Some years ago, I acquired the, the other piece. Oh, well, great. You found this near those ruins in the Devil's Spine, did you? I did. Ah, oh, yes. Well, I suspect there will be more out there. I'll hold on to this for now and study it further while you search for the other fragments. Oh, you've got another. Wonderful. Please, let me see. The trader takes a stone tablet from you and lays it on the table next to the others. Judging by the age of the stone and the shape of the glyph, uh, these are part of the same set. I'll keep this for now until you find any others you cross. Well, we found one more. Oh, you've got another. Well, wonderful. Please, let me see. The trader takes a stone tablet from you and places it alongside the others. He turns them over and arranges them together in square. On the undersides of the tablets, new glyphs begin to form, casting an eerie light onto the low ceiling. Hmm. Yes, go on. He begins transcribing the glyphs onto an old scrap of parchment paper. Each stroke appears to demand ex ex excruciating concentration. Thank you. After a few minutes, he puts down his pen and reads out loud. When the sky mistakes the stars and the air goes grows thick with night, the deep will open its scars. Protect us. Zero. Guiding light. I only know one of guiding light. These tablets predate the lighthouse at Great Morrow by centuries. The fragments are fused together now. Why don't you take this back? In theory, they should open a lock somewhere. Hell yeah, brother. An intriguing mystery. Do let me know if you make any progress. In the meantime, do you have any trinkets to appraise? I do. I I, I do. I really, really, really do. Yeah. Here's some money for you, big guy. There you go. Have fun with that. Yeah. 
$1,100. Look at that. Is it not zero, but the letter O? Is that what it is? The letter O? Alright. There we go. -na 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 -na. -na -na -na. If the fish rots, it's no big deal. Really. Only because of the fact that we haven't, like, even found the other fish. The other rare fish. So if this one rots, at least we know where it's at. The other three, we have no idea where they're at. <clears throat> well, this is something. I'm, I'm happy about this for sure. Very, very happy. I guess we're going to go to the lighthouse eventually here soon too. Do you think we have enough time? I still gotta repair my boat, too. Let me repair my boat as well. While I'm here. Hello. Huh. Hey again. Come by for a chat. Um... I found you this. Yes. Oh. oh, that's great news. I'll add it to my records. Here, take this. I'm sure you'll find use for it. All right. I'll take that. What about the other fish? I don't know where they're at. <laughs> that's pretty much that for you. Wait a sec. She didn't even take it, dude. Can I sell it to you now? Oh. There you go. And then I guess in the meantime... Will you repair my boat? There you go. You know what? Well, hang on a sec. Since I'm tech whoa 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 whoa. Since I'm technically here. Do I have any wood? I don't. But I do have cloth. I don't... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't need that there. Don't need that there. There we go. There we go. It's interesting. So, I guess... What this means is that... I can... I guess... What? End the game right now? Without... Doing, I guess, everything in the game <laughs> so I could if I wanted to just end it interesting well we're gonna have to make a journey back to the uh, actually you know what what we'll do is we'll cool down here and then we'll manifest and then drive to devil's spine that's what we'll do The O was used in text before using O as it's a slightly different meaning. Did you give the lady on the island across from you a rotting eel? I did. Go. Let's go there. Manifest. Oh, you want to see what the bait does? Okay, let's go to Devil Spine. Maybe we can use that at the Devil Spine. There's two endings to this game, is that right? Interesting. That's pretty cool. Where did you find the eel she wanted? Um I can't remember. I can't remember if it was in the basin or if it was in the morrow. I think it might have been in the basin, but I think it had to be at nighttime because I think eels come out at night. I believe. I believe. Can't really remember. Oh, like this right here. Like an eel. This might be an eel. Yeah, is it this kind of eel? Is it the, uh, the gray eel? I don't know exactly which eel she was asking for. <clears throat> uh, 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 uh. 
All right, so lighthouse here we actually come. Well, actually, we'll do bait then lighthouse. <laughs> the conger eel. Okay, the conger eel is what she. Yeah, yeah. If it was the conger eel, I can't. Re yeah, it's all in the last stream though. Conger eel. Right, let's discard this eel. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this ability. Right? Okay, bait is out. And it has put fish here. A snake mackerel. Go figure. Oh, look at that. It's all different kinds of fish. Nice. I totally missed a trophy one. Now, I want to know what a trophy does. Corpse reaped. Ruin has visited these creatures. They shall not recover. What have I done? I feel actually ter uh, terrible. You're telling me they're not going to recover ever? Wow. Yeah, the snake mackerel is for the blue robe guy, but he's probably dead. Yeah. So we can't do the snake mackerel anymore. If the gold robe guy died, the blue robe guy definitely died, because we met the blue robe guy way before we met the gold uh, robe guy. Did I make them extinct? I don't know. I hope not. That's not definitely what I was, was what I wanted to do. So, okay. All right, how much money do we got? Thirteen hundred. I guess we could like do a little bit of yeah, yeah. Research. I'm going for this bad boy. How much is this? I want to know, like, oh, wait, we can't even do that one yet. This is not even available for us. Ah, right. Because we don't have that yet. The twin prop engine. But the jet drive, we can at least add on. Let's see. Hit me with a jet drive. 270? We, how much can we have? We can have two of these guys? Yeah, two of them. Install that. Have I met the red and purple robe guys? I didn't even know there was a red and purple robe guys. My lord. That is definitely, I have definitely not then. I don't like that they die. It's sad. Find the door. We will definitely, we know where to go. Let's rest. All right, let's go. Actually, what I want to do is I want to go to our thing over here real quick. Did we ever get that thing? Now we're cooking. Yes, the no, the squat lobster is what we needed though. My goodness gracious, get away from me, you cowards! Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. Steam them out. Steam them out. Sick. That's exactly what we needed. The rock splits with an almighty crack. It crumbles away, revealing its core. Nice. Nice. Let's go. Now we're cooking. All right, let's go to the, um, the lighthouse. Thanks. Maybe you use the thing that makes them vanish on the big fish that eats you to get rid of it? All 
Alright, here we are. Get me to the top, please. You climb to the mini steps. Yes, we are. Place that bad boy right there. The fused tablet clicks into place and the door rumbles before sliding aside. You step inside. You step through the doorway of the ancient lighthouse. The stairway to the top has collapsed. This is as far as you're going to get. Around you are, around you are a number of dusty objects. Some of them look valuable. The flame of the sky. Oh, it's a new uh, headlight. Oh, that's cool. Right? Kind of, I guess. And possibly bright for such a compact design, the delicately faceted crystals lenses focuses a perpetual shimmering flame. I mean, the lumens are way less, aren't they? No, they are more. Oh, okay. So that is good. Sick. So we got, it gives us a new, a new headlight. There you go. You want a new headlight? There's your new headlight. Well, the more you know, I guess. So that's been done. Uh, actually, let's rest. Okay, cool. So we have one other blue flame. Now the other blue flame, we need, I think, one more blue flame, right? Yeah, I think so. Did I grab the blue flame? I did grab the blue flame, yeah. What are the fish? They're like freaking eating piranhas or piranha eating fly fire fish thing, my bobs. I don't know. So there's another area we have to go to, right? And it's right there. I see it. I see it. I see it. I see it. Okay, let me get there first. Right there. Oh, oh frick. <laughs> a stone shrine. An upright slab bears a carving. Two malformed fish writhing under the sun. A lower slab holds two shallow grooves. What the heck am I supposed to put in this? Two malformed fish? What the heck? They don't even give us an idea. It says two fish, two malformed fish. You're telling me two fish fit? <gasps> oh. No! That was bad timing. You ever seen bad timing? Because that's exactly what that was. I have an idea then, of what that could be. Two malformed fish, the gross looking ones. You mean any, any mutation of fish? Any mutated fish, yeah? We gotta repair. Oh. She's so disappointed when I break my ship. <laughs> Fish market. Um, right. Ah. Is it any purple fish? Is that what I'm getting at now? Let's put another twin, uh, twin jet drive on there. Sick. Or is it a specific fish? Interesting. Now this isn't gonna give us anything that we want as far as like purple fish. So I'm gonna back out of that. I'm gonna put the other blue flame away and I'm gonna like kind of think about this cause I'm not sure where, where I'm gonna be at here. I don't know what, what I'm thinking all in my head here. I don't know exactly 
I had to do this last one. Statues. Middle. Hit me with the flame, dude. Watch out. That's it? I guess we'll look for mutated fish. I haven't tried on my new light yet. Does it look different? <laughs> Maybe. Hey, Amanda, you're still here? No, you're still here. Well, I guess you are now here. <laughs> I guess we'll look for the uh, mutated fish. I don't know. It's kind of interesting. I mean, let's be honest. All these should be, like, mutated to some degree. Oh, look it. That fish is back. Oh, so maybe it wasn't extinct? I don't know. Or maybe not. I have no idea. I could not tell you. You know, that kind of reminds me. Why don't you just hit it with the a trophy? The true. Cusk eel. The hell is a cusk eel? Or whatever it is. We said goodbye to it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Actually, no, no. That's enough. You missed it. My boy got his first job. I was taking him to it. And other stuff because I'd assume I'd miss the stream anyway. Oh, very good. First job. That's awesome. Mm. That must be a that must be a proud moment indeed, yeah? That's definitely a proud moment. You gotta love that. Oh, that's great. That is awesome. Alright, so we'll put this uh we'll put this fish. We'll keep this fish. We'll rest. But I guess we'll put this fish in the in the stone, and I guess it could be anything, just as long as you fill it up. As long as it's, you know, mutated. It will work. Might as well check this. Let's see, how far, how far, how far, how far, right there, okay. Holy crap, watch out. I want over there. I do, I do. I want over there. Did you see it? Because I saw it. Get away! Very, very disappointed that just happened. Oh my god, you guys drive me nuts. Okay, I'm just going to hit you with this. Yeah, yeah. Just enjoy that while you can, please and thank you. I saw it was like a green. I had like a little bit of green here. No, did it go away? Might have gone away. Damn it! Oh my goodness! Go! No! Get out of me, dude! Ay yay yay! Y'all are so annoying. Get away! Get away! Get away! All right. Well, let me take chalk that up and need to go repair all my stuff again. We've come full circle. He's at the same company I was? Really? When you created it? Really? Wow. That's pretty cool. That is full circle. <laughs> that is 100% full circle. That's exciting, though. There we go. Nice. All right, well, this thing might spoil if I rest again. Actually, don't rest again, you fool. We're not going to rest again. 
I just want to. I want that thing to go away. Go away. Get out of here. I want these little guys to get away too. Okay, we'll come this way. Should be right here, right? Yeah, right in there. I see it. I see it. That's refined metal right there too. Oh, my lord, that's a, such a loud noise. So we put it in there, and, um, yeah, I guess just fill up the puzzle. Fill it all up. Fill up all the all the squares and make it all fit, so to speak. I guess that will be considered it done. It could be any fish, I guess, right? Any fish at all, or indeed, any fish indeed. As long as it's a mutated one. I don't know if it's a bit good idea to do this during the day or night. I say I want to do it during the day. Probably. <laughs> okay, we'll go around. We'll go around and see. Looking for the spots, but they're not popping up, I tell you. Have a good night, Denise. Do take care. Thanks for hanging out with us, too. You have a good rest of your night. What is that? That is nothing. My lord. There we go. There we go. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Right there. Right there, baby. Give me that. Keep it coming. There we go. A defaced skate. All right. Just need more. I guess what I could do also is I can hit him with this. No victims could be found. Okay. <laughs> right. Let's go out a little bit farther maybe and see if we can find any victims. No victims could be found either. All right. This part is definitely a little bit of a uh, little interesting here. It is, it's, it's, it's interesting because there's like, I, I wasn't expecting there to, I guess there what, to be two endings? Yeah. Definitely was not expecting that. Abyssal, abyssal. This way. I'm done with those piranha guys. Absolutely done with them. Well, that worked out. We got the wrapped shark, I guess. So there's another key for us. Another good thing to do is kind of do a little bit of this action. Well, let's see. How come I don't remember this? I don't remember this. Interesting. I'm actually going to look into that. Thank you. I could be going out all throughout the seas, too. I don't have to stay. I don't think I have to stay anywhere in this area for it to work. Like, as far as fish goes. Nope. 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 <laughs> there we go. Ah! Coming through, coming through. Are we right next to it? Please tell me we are. We're not even next to it, dude. Okay, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Go this way. I want to drop these off before I go out and about. I heard a boat go off, and I don't like that. Wait a sec. These things have, like, they have torches around here, too. They do, they do have torches around. Kind of lit during the night. Help me. Help me. That's where I want to go, right there. Come this come this way with me, fish. Woo! Tell they have to go and shower and get ready. Oh, for the doctors. Yeah, no problem for the thanks for the five hours of entertainment. Yeah, no problem indeed. It's a pleasure. Absolutely a pleasure. Oh, okay, so I just did this correctly. Oh, well, look at that. I guess I didn't need to fill it. I guess I needed to put a, spe a specific one. Well, then, uh, right, so that worked out. Uh, that worked out indeed. Encrusted Talesman. Fishing speed. What the heck is this? A stone tablet surrounded by tooth and bone. A glyph of hook is carved into the center. Well, yeah, but no, 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 no problem. Thanks for hanging out with us, uh, little Miss Teddy. Appreciate it. Appreciate it indeed. Well, we're about to put in the last bit here, I guess. So you didn't need a bunch of fish. You just needed, I guess, a specific fish. And I hate all of that sound. So let's go with this last little bit. Oh, no. You know what? Let's hit him with the banish. There we go. Hit him with the banish and continue on. There we go. Whew. We'll put the last little flame in and see what happens. That's true. That's true. The description was for two malformed, huh? That was. That's true. I think it's kind of like, like, I think maybe I was thinking too much of the tombs, huh? Or the totems. Sorry, the totems. To the point where, like, I needed to make sure all the boxes were checked off or, like, all the boxes were filled in. That's true. Let's go right. Storage. There we go. The cold flame roars in the statue's hand. Preparations are completed. The fanatic awaits. What is it? Well, the flames are lit. Oh, I can feel it. The chill of the deep touches us now. It is time. Come. You follow him up the steps of the temple. At the top is a black stone altar. Stacked high upon the altar are layers of dark, damp wood. He draws the antique pocket watch from his robe. It sways hypnotically in the breeze. It is almost yours. May it mark the start of your journey and the end. Still holding the pocket watch in one hand, he clambers, clambers atop the pyre and raises his scroll. He begins to chant. What are you doing? He ignores you. The wind picks up, swirling sea spray around the altar. A cold blue flame rises from the sodden wood at his feet. Say nothing. The freezing blade, blaze climbs his legs. His chanting continues, no pain detectable in his voice. He lifts his arm skyward. Seconds later, the inferno engulfs him. It rages for a moment, then abruptly dies away. A cold mist pool around the floor of the temple briefly before the wind sweeps in into the sea. No trace of the fanatic remains. The pyre is cold and damp. Inspect the pyre. There it is, her watch. The hands are stopped dead, frozen in the moment. You take the pocket watch. It's freezing cold. It vibrates in your palm. Clock hands spinning wildly below the cracked face. Ancient temple. Do I take this to the, um... We have the last piece, yeah? I found a watch. I should return it to the collector on Blackstone Isle. Well, wait a sec now. How can we do that? Considering the fact that we smashed the mirror thinking it... Wait a sec. I'm so confused. I'm just going to let it play out. I'm not even going to sit here and try to build up a theory. What the heck? You climb the broken steps of the old mansion, the waves swelling and crashing against the basalt columns that surrounded you. You pause before crossing the threshold. Deliver the relic. He approaches, drawing closer with an incessant ticking you have the pocket watch wait i'm 
That's you. You... You take out the watch. Its once frozen hands are now in inexplicably, inexplicably twitching in a rhythmic struggle, trying but failing to move forward. You place it in front of the collector. Though it has been some decades since I last laid eyes upon or laid eyes upon this, the sound of the mechanisms have grown no less unpleasant. And with that, our collection is complete. I must admit, I am surprised. I did not think you had the determination for such a job. Now, with these five relics in our possession, only one thing remains. We will see her again soon. It will all be worth it. You know this. You know what? It will become apparent soon enough. We must make one final voyage. This time, I will be with you. Okay, uh, so this is where the two endings come, right? We either go with him or them, him, <laughs> or we go with the lady at the lighthouse. Honestly, this is the way. No? Yeah. I think this is I think this is the way. Obviously, I'm ready. You are entering the final phase of the game. Your progress will not be saved from this point. I mean, I feel like this is the right way to play. Well, not, not, excuse me. Not the right way to play, but the right way to play for us. At least for me in this situation. One more time. Your progress will not be saved from this point onwards. Are you wish? Are you sure you wish to continue? Send me. The relics are coming with us. We should wait for the fog to thicken. With luck, the seas will remain unaware of, of our intentions. Now I'm very curious to know what the other lady, the lighthouse lady, was on about. Now, our destination is the open expanse of the west of Greater Morrow. Marked on the map. The west of Greater Morrow. We must not tarry on the open waters, not with such a significant cargo. Make haste. His shape disappears from the mirror. A chill rises in your body as you turn to leave. The collector is with you. Wait a sec now. Can I go into your workshop? No, that's still all, I, that's still all a DLC, I believe. So, okay. The Greater Morrow. Okay. 1 a.m.? Is that when we should go? I'm assuming it's that giant red light. You can be safe to assume that. I'm also... Driving with the lights turned off purposefully and intentionally, and now you can see that was a bad idea. But you look at the time. The time has stopped because we have the pocket watch, right? So time is frozen. The permanent 102 a.m. Here we go. This is the place. This is where she was taken from us and where we can at least bring her back. Only here and only because of what we've achieved. You open the book, it pages its pages are frosted with ice and chill. Mist rises around your fingers. You begin to read aloud. To release a lost one, frozen in time, you throw the pocket watch overboard. And tethered by chains in the deep, you throw the necklace overboard. Bind them to this world once more. You throw the ring overboard. Open the door to the star starry, starry heavens. You slot the key into the lock of the music box. And lay the weary world to rest. You throw the music box overboard, its key left unturned. Yoshi. Yo. Oh my lord.
Maybe that was the bad ending. Was that the bad ending? She is the destroyer of everything? I don't know. But everything is destroyed now. Setting that up for a sequel, maybe? Well, there's another ending to this game. And I wonder if the other ending was the good ending. Is there a bad and good ending? Did I beat the game already? I did. <laughs> I wonder if you went with the old lady in the lighthouse that this wouldn't have happened. I don't know. But I have to say, this was pretty fun. I really enjoyed this game. This is a good game. You pick it up on Steam. Pick it up on any console, I believe. PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo Switch. People said it was good on Steam Deck as well. Damn. You have to play the whole thing again or just backtrack to a save file? That's a great point. I'll see here. I'm going to take a look. I'll take a look. If I can reload that and maybe go to the lighthouse person, maybe we'll see if we can do that. I'll see. Yeah, I'll see if we can do that. Because if so, I'm interested to know the other side. That was pretty cool. I mean, it was nice to see her resurrected, but at the same time, something else came out in the background, and I don't know what that was about. You know? I'll let it play out, though, here. I'll give the game and give everybody the credit that they deserve for working on this game, because that, uh, that was pretty special. That was a pretty good game. I, I really enjoyed that game. For sure. Absolutely. And I know a lot of people enjoyed it, and I think a lot of people also didn't realize when they clicked on the stream from the first one, at least, the uh, first stream that we did, day one, so to speak, that they, uh, they weren't expecting to like this game as much as they did when they watched the stream. And I'm glad to see that some people were like, wow, you know what? This game was better than I was thinking. So that's 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 awesome to hear too as well. Love that. We'll see here. Looks like a tree of, tree of skull in the background. Yeah, it looked kind of weird. It looked like there was a face for sure. I thought it was gonna be, like, I don't even know what I thought it was gonna be, dude. That was kind of crazy, though. I wonder what, like... I mean, like, look, look at the lighthouse. The lighthouse is destroyed. The entire town of Morrow is destroyed. You know? But leaving us with, without a proper closure is unacceptable. <laughs> That's what makes it wonderful. Maybe there will be a sequel. Or maybe there'll be a spinoff. You never know. Who knows? You never know. But Team 17, the people that publish this game and all that, they, they do, they put out some uh, pretty good games. For sure. For sure, for sure. Finance. Finance director. Really? Who's doing the finance directing here? I heard the thing in the background, too. Yeah, Team 17 here. I'm trying to think of other games they've they've put out. What to see here. Am I doing more change in the future? Yeah, more change will come in the future. For sure. I just gotta find, uh... I gotta find a day to do it. Especially with this uh, busy week coming up. We have a new game coming tomorrow and a prequel of Road 96. A uh, new game-ish coming on the 5th, which is the day after. A new game coming on the 6th. That's pretty much for that for this week. I think just three new games this week. Possibly four. 
the next week is going to be another like three or four new games so we have like in the next week or so next week or two we have like seven or eight new games coming out crazy you played change again today and it blew and i blew it so bad made it 30 days though <laughs> oh team 17 is the one that did uh, my time at porsche they should have done the my time at sandrock too yeah probably Seems like you get lots of cans this week. You get lots of cans every week, baby. That's right. All right, here we go. Dredging the depths. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to go straight to the... Um... We'll go straight to the... Uh... To the... To the... Yeah, yeah. To the... To the lady. And we'll see what that ending's all about. Hopefully we can, right? <sighs> I'm ready. Show me where I need to go. Yes, let's do it, baby. Send it. We must wait until night is thickest. Until the ocean is at it was all these years ago. All right, here we go. I, if it gives me the same ending. <laughs> nah, it should be better. It should be different. Maybe this is the good ending. I don't know. Who knows? It's time I'll point you the way. Follow my light. Go and do what's right for her. Throw it back. Okay, this is already sounding kind of maybe different. Uh, right, so throw it back. Do what's do what's good for her and throw it back. Wait a sec. This is kind of... Again, I'm a little embarrassed, but this is kind of sounding very similar. Oh, oh, look it. Oh, look it. Yeah. Look, it's not the red in the red creepy light. It's the, it's the actual light light. It's the, yeah, yeah. It's the, how the lighthouse light. Yeah. Oh. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh. This has to be the good ending. This is the place. Throw it back. The book struggles in your grasp. It weighs somehow, shifting from side to side. Silver ribbons flail pathetically against your fingers. Throw it back. You hold it high above your head. A low groan rumbles from the book, echoed by another from the depths. Throw it back. You, th you throw it into the foaming water. see that well that doesn't feel better the town survived but Jesus <laughs> that's the good ending I, I I why did we exist why what did she die the same way I don't know where my head is at maybe that's the point I honestly do not know. But there you go. I, I guess we sacrificed ourselves, right? The good ending is you die. Just like her. So we had the good ending and the bad ending. We had a good ending and a bad ending. Good ending, you you die, I guess. You die maybe the same way she died or something rather, or you resurrect her and all hell breaks loose. 
and the town is destroyed. I have no idea what just happened. But nonetheless, my time spent here in Dredge was absolutely awesome. I loved it, and I definitely would recommend this game. Uh, how long did this game take to uh, complete? I would say about 10 to 11 hours. So if you are going to pick up this game for, your, for yourself, um, if you do it like how I did, about 10 to 11 hours. If you do like maybe a full complete run, like 100% run, probably looking at maybe 15 to 20 hours, give or take, with this game. Good game. Wonderful. I had a great time. This was very fun. I, I mean, very many, a lot of questions need to be answered, but other than that, like, I can't really say much more. I did like it. Yeah, I did like it a lot. So if you enjoyed this, please make sure to hit the like button. I would appreciate that. Absolutely. <laughs> I would appreciate that 100%. So, yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Now I'm going to have to watch your previous stream since you finished this in this one. Yeah. Yeah. And you might like learn a little bit more of the sword if you go watch the first uh, stream for sure. But yeah, thanks for hanging out with me today. Tomorrow, we're going to be playing Row 96 prequel. Um, so if you haven't and you want to learn more about that story, I have an awesome playlist. I'm going to put it in the community tab here um, after the stream. I'm going to share uh, the community tab with the game that we're doing a prequel to uh, called Road 96. Road 96 is a fun game, great game. Um, we played a Flores run. Highly recommend checking out that uh, series because that's a complete series and it was absolutely fun to make. Uh, but we're going to be playing Road 96 tomorrow, the prequel. And should be fun. Uh, should be different than the um, original one. Should be a lot different, but nonetheless, it should be fun. Um, other than that, that's what we're doing tomorrow. And uh, you'll find out what we're doing the rest of the week. Anyways, thanks uh, for hanging out with us. And I will see you all uh, in the next one. You know, wherever that may be. So, like, do as always. Take care.